Show on YouTube, motherfuckers. Cheers, Kika. Ah, uh, cheers, son. I should really uh, let off the smoke out of my mouth before I start talking. <laughs> it makes it hard to talk. You, Shit. you, you want to creamer it? Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh fuck, that hurt. Uh, uh, anyways, man. let's hear it for the motherfuckers. Oh yeah, Super Saiyan Joku was here first. Let me hit it for you, Joku. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. Uh, 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 huh? Cheers, Joko. And our moderator, Joe Gomer Kyle, is here. Let's hit it for Gomer. What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pyle. Private Pyle, I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. One, two, three. Shazam. Cheers, Gomer. Cheers, Gomer. Oh, yeah. Happy Friday, y'all. It's good to be here. Um,. I don't know. I feel weird. Kike. You feel weird? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh shit! That was my bad. That was me hitting the mic. Too. And um, it's not because you're high. Because <laughs> I feel a little weird if you're high, man. I am high. Nah, I mean I don't know. Maybe like uh, maybe winter is ending. Maybe I don't know. Oh, do you feel in your bones? I feel good. You know, I feel better than before. Ah, uh, I see new beginnings. Mm -hmm. Also, hopefully, hopefully, like uh, there's nothing bad going on in the world. I don't know. Um, I mean, uh, we do live in America, and we have a Democratic president, so you know, a lot of <laughs> children missing in the world. You know what that means? Children missing in the world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, I don't want you. I don't want anyone. No. You need to check the basement in the it. White House for Hunter <laughs> Biden's closet. I'm just saying. Eh, yeah, yeah. I guess Hillary Clinton's back room. Wink, wink. Tom <laughs> Hanks' kitchen pantry. Wink, wink. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, be alert. Be alert, everybody. If you see your neighbors acting weird, go over there and snoop around when they're not home. Find out if they're not up to anything. I'm just no, saying, or, or, just or don't. It's it's legal. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Don't get in trouble. No, yeah, but we need to stop these child molesters. I, yeah, I mean. Yeah, we I agree, but we can't go inside our houses that we don't own. Oh, you bet you can peek in the windows. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, they leave the blinds open. I mean, mm, I don't know about that. I uh, guess I guess if the blinds are open, yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong. Oh, I was passing by. I was just admiring your couch and making sure there wasn't any kids tied up in there. That's all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure you weren't peeping uh, around? No, no, no. Uh, All right, cool. I was peeping the other night when your wife was showering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, let's get started with the motherfucking comments, KK. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. And uh, guess what? We lost two subscribers. Oh, wah, wah. <laughs> uh, Which is kind of weird because we actually got three and then we lost two. That is true. I don't know what happened there. I think uh, they saw the thumbnail and they clicked on it and then and, 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 and they <laughs> subscribed and said, I'll watch it later. And then when they came back to watch it, uh, they unsubscribed right away. I was drunk last night. What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, yeah, I've done that a few times. I've done that. I'm like, what? what is this? Did I subscribe to this? I guess I must have. I don't want to see this Asian man trying on dresses. Trying on dresses. Um, 
Was yeah, that happens movie? to me too, man. But yeah, I'm like, who are all these whores? Oh yeah, I was drunk last night. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, I do want to say, Super Saiyan Joku, uh, sent me this earlier. Kike. Uh huh. Because everybody's getting really tired of you showing off. Think you're better than everybody. <laughs> so Goku said, "I'm gonna show off in a way that Kike will not be better than me." And he said, "Happy Friday. Wow. I'm hyped about the light up." And get out of this world with the woke pack for life. Let me put you throw the woke pack for life for the motherfucker. Woke pack for life. Uh, community and two Mexican hosts, one white, Kike, and the son of man, he's brownish gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Egyptian tan, Mexican man with Egyptian tan. Remember that. Uh, official dudes podcast. Check your dudes later. Smother flowers. Smoke weed every day. THC, hot cocoa. 300 milligrams. <laughs> uh, uh, edibles, roll up, light up, smoke up. Kike is better than everyone. <laughs> so he's got 300 milligram coffee. <clears throat> coffee nice. Kike. That is fucking awesome. That's fucking crazy. I mean, how do you even get high with coffee if it's caffeine? Well, it says hot cocoa, actually. Oh. Well, that's the same thing. <laughs> Uh, no, cocoa is me. It's a uh, uh, chocolate, bro. Not cocoa. Well, I mean, it's still hyper. <laughs> yeah, you got sugar in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Chocolate does have a little bit of caffeine. And look, those it gummies does. are way better in your pieces of ass that you buy. Kike. These yeah, have they like look... designs on them and shit. They were stamped, yeah, professionally made. By yeah, mine people. are not. <laughs> Manufacturing all that yours, shit. You can tell. Oh uh, yeah, like make. Kool Aid cubes and shit. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. This guy's buying the good, good stuff. Yeah. Show off now, Kike. Huh? Show off. I can't. No, you got me beat. Damn you right. got me beat. All right. Yeah. Cheers, Joko. Cheers, brother. Nice. We finally got Kike. <laughs> he says uh, 200 mils for me, too, and a pain. Uh, never mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that, that and I'll fucking sleep for fucking five hours. It was so good. I had it today and I'm still smoking. Oh, nice. Man, I wish it was legal here, man. I'm tired of getting ripped off from all these brown it's, people. It's decriminalized. You can smoke weed. Oh, Go I can't away. buy it, you idiot. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm tired of getting ripped off by all my brown people. <laughs> no, I mean, I know times are hard, but motherfuckers be ripping people off. You know, you're, you're not oh, getting yeah. the amount you're buying. It pisses me off. Yeah. And I got and we're all school, so. I've gone to yeah. several fucking people, and everybody's ripping people off. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with the assholes? Like, how, how do people even come back come back to buy from you if you don't even give the, the right amount? Pussy. Yeah. I don't, even but, tell, I don't even say nothing. I just never I never call them back. I'm like, yeah, fuck you. I'll find someone else. But I, I've already switched five times. Five times? Wow. Yeah. Uh, this is so all I'm getting for a hundred bucks. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. That's nothing, bro. I used to feel two of these for a hundred bucks. Yeah, not anymore. That's true. You know what Joe Biden does to the economy? Fuck you, Biden. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. No, it's actually really good. It's really good stuff. It's uh, uh, actually, I'm look, I'm checking, and my nose is not dripping, but I'm telling you, in my head, it's gushing out. I'm blowing bubbles right now. Okay. It's, All right. it's the feeling. It's disgusting. So I know it's good weed. But I know nothing's <laughs> happening because I can see myself. But it's weird. It's that feeling. Uh, where you, uh, you're like, you're fucked. <laughs> fucked. Yeah. But you I, but, the, but the I can dragon. see myself, the, you know, the camera and shit. So I can yeah. see that I'm not fucked. But my brain's telling me I'm fucked. Kike. Well, you're saying you're fucked quite a lot. So I'm guessing you're fucked. I might be. <laughs> yeah, I, I can confirm it. Yeah, you are. It's pretty good weed. <laughs> go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Good for you, man. Plus, with the one hitter, you don't waste nothing. It just, I love one hitter. Yep. Cheers, Joku. Thank you for sending Cheers, us Joku. Uh, your illegal well, your legal stuff. Man, I wish. No, yeah. Yeah, I don't wish I wish I lived over there. Fuck that. It's too cold, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, even over there where yeah. you live, uh, uh, Gomer, that's too damn cold for me. I'm a lizard, <laughs> lizard man. All right, uh, I like the sun. Yeah, Do yeah, it. I like the sun nowadays. The older I get, the more I like the sunny fucking you know weather. 
Let's get started with the motherfucking yeah. comments. We're going to start uh, with none other than Bradley Lewis, our other mm. fucking uh, resident uh, Australian. Let me hit it for this guy. That's no one. Right. What am I? Average. So, uh, I had sent uh, Brad Lewis a shirt uh, designed by the Cut, of course, uh, for, for for year number three. That's our three, third year. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next year, uh, it's gonna be this other shirt that I'm showing here. The also designed by the Cut, year number four, Dudezilla. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kike and me. Uh, but <clears throat> I send him that shirt. And I had his old address from the first time he won a shirt. Oh, OGs, yeah, yeah. OGs. And, um, and I send it to that same address. And then I, I send him a message. And he's all like, he told me, like, well, I, I, I moved. I, I don't live there no more. I moved a long time well, ago. Well, I moved out, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, fuck, I'm sorry, dude. Shit, someone else is going to wear the shirt and shit and be walking around with a Kika shirt. They don't even know who the fuck Kika is. They're walking around Aww. with Kika on their shirt. Uh, but no, I don't. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he went yeah. over there or he or he like maybe he intercepted the the mailman. Uh, mm -hmm. But he sent me a picture. He got it. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. He got it. He got the shirt and the candy, and the Wait. Mexican candy. Uh, but let me read. Let me read. <laughs> let me yeah, let me read his comment. All right. Happy New Year's, dudes. Cheers, Gomer Kyle, for your information. Don't let the Illuminati get you. Wait, you know what, Kike? You should read this like a uh, Aussie. Look at Aussie. All right. Yeah. Hey, up in years, dudes. Cheers, Gumma Kyle. FYI, don't let the Illuminati get you, to, uh, get you down. They'll... Shit, I can't fucking read. They can't be everywhere all the time. And now some new spoiler news. Thanks for the ca uh, carriage pa package. I, I was thinking it was so piece cake and gummies, but it was just regular candy. <laughs> yeah, everybody thought it was drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I want to say, let's go Houston Texans, but they are currently losing the Lamar Jackson's Ravens. Son, PK, I'm surprised you guys didn't mention the Cat Williams interview. Comments on Hollywood industry and the gatekeepers, uh, Stun Masons. Well, I mean, look, uh, I don't want I don't want Cat Williams to call us out, so I'm trying to stay mm -hmm. away from that kind of shit. Uh, now, so, ah, boo boo. Yeah. <laughs> we barely have 500. If Cat Williams says anything about us, we're going to lose at least 250. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Half of the subscribers will be back down. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, we don't want bad publicity. I mean, I don't think we, that we don't. Is. Yeah, we don't want him in, on on his bad side. Fuck yeah. that. Mm -mm. And then plus, I mean, if then if he takes notice, then all of a sudden, uh, fucking uh, Dave Chappelle is gonna be making jokes about me and shit. He can. I don't want that kind of a shit. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We're trying to stay I low. About right? this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to lay low. No, I don't yeah. want that kind of attention. Mm. I don't yeah, like being yeah. made fun. Of. I've been made fun of all my growing up in middle school and high school. You know, <laughs> we live in a time we're supposed to be accepted. What's going on? That's true. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. He didn't uh, talk fondly about men and drag Cat Williams. So yeah, I'm just saying. You know, I'm trying to like. Uh, them, I don't want to be persecuted. <laughs> that's all that's all yeah 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 that's yeah, all yeah. that's it <laughs> hey uh cheers brad lewis uh, thank you cheers, for brad. fucking commenting me and shit i know he had messaged and, me on instagram a long yeah. time ago and he has said i you know i'm i just he i think he said he's a brand new dad and yeah just, that's why he moved into a new place or whatnot but he says he's been busy but he says uh that he does watches us all he watches us and even though he don't comment all the time and, and it's been a while yeah, he cheers, Brad Lewis. Yes, to you, man. You know we love and My you. apologies for my shitty fucking Australian accent. I I sometimes mix uh uh I, not Irish but like fucking Liverpoolian. Kind kind of sounds similar. Yeah, well, yeah. TK will work on his Australian and shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but either way, we appreciate you, bro, and you're OG. You're and remember, you're you're fucking. Yeah. So don't ever forget yeah. that. You're a woke pack for life, motherfucker. 
Cheers, Brent Lewis. We love you. Cheers, brother. No, Gomer, I'm not scared of fame. I'm scared of persecution. Mm. That's all. <laughs> the last guy who called himself Son of Man, they persecuted him, and you know how that ended. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, okay, guy, our resident Canuck mm -hmm. in the Phantom. Let me hit it for this guy. Give me a chance to load up this one hitter. Here we go. Indie Phantom on the Ray movie plot leaks. He says, Oh, yeah. A new beginning? Laughing out loud. That was a suitable of, of uh, that was a subtitle of Friday the 13th Part 5. Uh, <laughs> this sounds even worse than I would have guessed. Fucking Kike is going to endorse this shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's the ultimate Ray simp and Andor fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm just teasing. Even Kike could never be that woke. Tears, dudes. Oh, tears, Indy Phantom. I don't think nobody That's likes the girl. We need a bunch of lesbians. Dude. <laughs> I don't even know so, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kike, the cunt is here. Let me All hear right. for this asshole. Here we go. You can feel it while smoking. You can feel it while drinking. You can feel it getting woke as fuck. So get your slot ready, cause the cunt is here. I'm gonna pop open a brand new beer for you, cunt. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. And that those are the Brits. Fuck you, Kiki. Oh. There you go. Cheers to you, Indy too, and thank you for your comment. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We love you. All right, let's see who else is next. Oh, he also commented on the dude's retrospect, uh, Men at Work. Oh, yeah. With Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez. Mm hmm. He says, uh, Son and Kike, you guys should star in a remake of this. That's exactly what we were saying. We should remake <laughs> this movie, Kike. It would be perfect. Uh huh. Yeah, except uh, you're Charlie Sheen, of course, right? Sure, I could be Charlie Sheen, you could be Emilio Estevez. Uh, and then, <laughs> instead of the black guy, we're going to have a white guy, because it made more sense. The, the guy who's trying to, you know, uh, you know, evaluate us has to be a white guy. It would make sense if yeah. we were a black dude, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. And, and he's a veteran, too? Or we can make him something else? Nah, he's, he's a veteran. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. And racist, too. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, he doesn't like brown people. <laughs> oh, it is going to be a better movie. Oh, yeah. We'll have Melanie Mackie to be that girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Badass, badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Anyways, uh, you know damn well that if Men at Work were a remake today, it would feature a woke ass Mexican Latinx stars. Yeah, it would be like Guy Garcia and that other asshole mm -hmm. and shit. Uh, oh, my God. You just reminded me of that movie. Yeah. Uh, what's the one? Um... Mama <laughs> no. uh, what's the movie with uh, the guy from uh, Monarch? What's the dude's name? The old dude? I forget his name. Oh, uh, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell. Like he 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 uh, he picks up this chick who is a rich girl or whatever. Uh, she hit her head or something, and then uh, she doesn't know that she's fucking like rich as fuck. Oh, yeah, overboard. Overboard. That's a great fucking movie. They did a remake recently, but with know, Eugenio Derbez. It. And, uh, and Star-Lord's ex-wife. Yes, dude. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty good. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, I it liked it, too. It was, it was cool. It was, yeah. it was different. They, yeah, they, it was they, different. They, they kind of flipped the roles and, and did yeah. it way different. Uh, the guy is a rich asshole yeah. instead of, you know. It's just the whole, was a good movie. the whole concept of that movie. It worked, man. I loved Overboard. Mm -hmm. I fucking loved Overboard. It's a really good day. movie. Both of them are good, actually. Like both of them, the new one too. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Overboard. It's a great movie. Uh, both mm -hmm. of them are great. Uh, Goldie Hawn, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, dude, at the beginning scene, like yeah. you can see all of her ass, bro. It's badass. <laughs> I know. 
That motherfucker yeah. fucked her. Yeah. I know, I know. They're still together, right? Yeah, yeah. They never got married, but they they always been together. Damn. <laughs> That's commitment right there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. They're good looking people, Kiko. Good looking people. They are. People. They are. Mm-hmm. Cheers, Indy Phantom. And then Cheers, Rocco. Indy. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life. This fucking Satanist. Let me hit it for him. <laughs> Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Rocco. Rocco fucked my life on the uh no just on the podcast video. He put yo, he can't bat it a thousand on this one. Is it a thousand or a hundred? I know he's talking about like batting stuff. You guys in the comments let me know. I think it's a thousand. Because I know yeah. you don't say one point oh 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 oh. Yeah, it's a thousand. That's a thousand. A thousand. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, on the show, he's, he's, you batted a thousand. Kiko. Good, Those impersonations you. were fire. Trump, <laughs> Mark Ruffalo, Cat Williams, <laughs> Gay, even the Son of Man. Hey, fuck you, Kike. You better stop doing that shit. Uh, Kike, keep it up with the voices. I'm curious to see who else you can do. Cheers, dudes, and great show. Hashtag. <laughs> Live. Hashtag Kike as no Kike Kike as many voices. Oh, Kike, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna call you many voice. Oh, <laughs> no, don't call me many voice, please, yeah, please. Yeah. That sounds bad, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, here comes many boys. I wonder what he likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. He get, uh, when he saw Michael Winslow for the first time in Police Academy, he knew what his destiny in life was. <laughs> I thought of him, bro. You know what? When I first saw him, I was like, that guy's cool as fuck. I know, you fucking autistic <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, no. Cheers, Rocco. Cheers, Rocco. Oh, on the Ray movie plot leaks. Sans Sun, high sex. Is that what it says, Kike? High sex? Let me see. High no, sex. It says Sans Sun HL6WX. I don't know what that means. That means high sex. No, I. Uh, What's okay. her real name? Click on it on the channel. Uh, her name is Sandy. Does she that's have her, videos? That's her name. I I don't know. Let's see. Her uh, avatar no. is a little girl and their hands coming out of her eyes. Kike. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. That's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. Yeah. Are you, are you tripping out? Is the weed good? <laughs> this is fucked up, man. Uh, but anyways. Oh, Sandy. Sandy. Oh, uh, yeah. She puts a lot of happy, crying, laughing faces. Oh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we'll give you the DJ horn, Sandy. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see who else. Maybe she's the one who unsubscribed. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. We're taking the DJ horn back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Gomer Kyle on the Ray movie plot leaks. Ray and the Jedi Order. Of nasty tampons and clawed drinks. <laughs> Ray learns how to drive, but she's a woman. Ray, the savior of trash bin movies. Ray and the beginning of this of the begging of Disney for a job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the new tampon order of douche wars. In the end, I say, Ray, go fuck yourself. Cheers. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gober was apologizing for his comment, and I told him, Why you apologize, <laughs> motherfucker? That's all right. <laughs> cheers, Gomer. Yeah, I don't yeah, like cheers, Gomer. I'll say it, I'll say it again, man. Force Awakens is a good movie if you pretend the other two movies were never made. I guess, yeah. Because the, yeah, way, that's the, true. the way I saw Force Awakens mm -hmm. was that they had a boy and a girl 
the boy went evil and wanted to kill the daughter and they went and dropped the daughter off in the desert and maybe with the force or something that Leia did made her kind of forget so she doesn't really remember them yeah yeah you know to keep her safe and that's what was happening and she somehow we, made her yeah. way and found her father and then her father died <laughs> and then in the other movie she was going to yeah. find out that it's her brother and i thought that's what they were doing and i thought yeah. i thought cuz i thought that's that's well, that's perfect exactly yeah me too i was thinking the same thing and we had hope i mean every the movie was great i mean it was good uh, the shit that comes next is what fucked the whole thing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah yeah no i remember watching that i was filled with hope <laughs> anyways yeah uh yeah yeah the force awakens it awoke only to shit on itself to find out it shed on itself while it was asleep yeah, yeah. awakens m meant woke <laughs> Yeah, you're right. It woke, me. it woke. That's what it did. It woke. <laughs> it did. Oh, we have a new guy, Kike. Okay. His name is Mike9512 on the Ray video. Is that really his name, Kike? Click on his shit. Let me see. It is Mike. Yeah. Oh, does he have videos? Uh, just uh, some playlists. That's all. Okay. Oh, no. What kind of playlist? Music? Just music. Do you want me to fucking tell? Okay, so uh, motivation pop. That's what it says. Motivation pop? Yeah. Like music? Well, I mean, he likes to listen to upbeat music while he masturbates or whatever he's doing. <laughs> like, don't we all? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Let's listen to sexy music or disco. Oh, uh, or disco? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you get a nice rhythm that, yeah. going. You get a nice rhythm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> In the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Kiki, yeah. we're about to get banned. Calm down. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're right. Oh, the sound shit. effects. You idiot. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Anyways, Mike says. All right, props for the intro screen. Oh, someone actually read it. Cheers! Yeah, cheers. I feel like every time someone gets on their pulpit, what? Mm -hmm. You mean he means eyeball or what? Isn't that the pulpit? No, that's pupil. What is a pulpit? Pulpit is like when, uh, isn't it like a, 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 a like a, an elevated stance? Okay. Yeah, like when you you know you 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 go to college and you're saying the last fucking like thing to the people, like you get into the pulpit and so start talking. I think that's what it says. I think that's what it is. Okay. Every time someone gets on their fucking shit to talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah 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 yeah. Just I try to translate for dumb people. Hey, all right, hey. that's all. And starts yeah. ranting some insane bullshit about being about X being woke. They need to lead with this. Yeah. I may not like it, but I respect that you acknowledge this is purely for entertainment rather than addressing an actual issue, which is fine. Wow. Oh. Smart person here. Jesus. Wow. Uh, That's a, little, a, first. Yeah, a little too smart for our channel because I don't know how to. <laughs> I could tr I translated pulpit, but uh, the rest of that shit, I don't know what the fuck you said. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm glad that, you know, you read the intro because we get a lot of pussies that don't read the intro and then they comment here or they show up. They show up here and call us yeah. call us uh, uh, clan members, even though <laughs> even though they're white and we're brown. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I'm brown. I don't know about my friend. Fuck you. We were fine. You could have kept going. Jesus. His peach. His peach skin, everybody. Your pink, rosy skin. <laughs> all right. All right. That's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, cheers, Mike. We appreciate you. I don't, yeah, I, I don't even you. think he subscribed or, or maybe he unsubscribed. It's fine. It's okay. I mean, I, I, I like the fact that he acknowledged the facts, you know. It Thank doesn't you. matter. Uh, it's Friday. We're having a good time. You don't want to have yeah. a good time? Go fucking, I don't know, go go somewhere else. Where people <laughs> are having not fun. Yeah, go yeah. play disco and masturbate. 
That's fun, Mikike. I said when they're not having fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, cheers, Mike. We're moving on. Cheers. Oh, no, man. Mikike is fucking misogynist. Uh, it's really bad. No, with, um... with everything that's happening right now, I can't believe we're mm -hmm. about to play his intro. Here we go. <laughs> no, ma'am. National Organization of Men Against Amazonian Masterhood. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right, no, ma'am, on the Andor, Diego Luna quits. Shit. <laughs> he goes, uh, oh, my God, are you friggin' kidding me? He gays on Andor bullshit again. And he rolls his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> he says, also, funny impersonation of Andor. Oh, Kike, dude, do your Diego Luna. Do it, do it, do it. No, I can't do it right now. It's uh, I'm, I'm a little busy, okay? Oh, that's pretty good, motherfucker. <laughs> goes, but with all honesty, it was kind of racist, Kike. Oh! <laughs> Why? Said, a white man making an impersonation of a Mexican ah, is racist. <laughs> he puts laughing faces. Cheers, I'm dudes. Mexican. Hashtag. <laughs> Life. Hey, I have to correct you, uh, no, ma'am. He's actually not white. He's European, so that's a different kind of white. Yeah, yeah. If he was wait, white, wait, white wait, wait, he would what? be German or Scandinavian. Okay. Or, or, oh. Palladium. Uh, oh, shit. Yeah, you brought that up. Wow. But this guy's European, so technically, I mean, he is a white mix. He's like the white browns, you know. Wait, uh, that's a nice <laughs> way to... The white, a nicer way to say it is white browns, but I don't respect them motherfuckers, so I call them white Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. I'm fucking like there and not me. I'm not saying me there. They, they call them white Mexicans in Mexico. I don't give a fuck what they call them. I call them that. <laughs> okay, fine. Jesus. Oh, someone has a fucking like, you need to smoke some more, man. I am smoking. I'm smoking every chance I get, motherfucker. All right, good. Jesus. Jesus. Don't, don't start something here. Jesus. We call me Jesus. Yes. I'm not Sorry. calling you Jesus. Anyways. All right. Cheers. No, ma'am. Cheers, brother. All right. Let's see who's next. Oh, Gomer Kyle on the uh, movies retrospects for mm -hmm. Men at Work. I love this movie. It's been my favorite of mine since I was younger. So you all got this one wrong, fellas. No, we the, we the qualifications, Gomer Kyle, are they have to have been below 69% of the audience score Rotten Tomatoes. That's it. That's the only qualification. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it was a hit. And it doesn't matter if the, if the critics liked it or hated it. We're only going by it has to be below 69 audience score. Mm -hmm. And it meant, Below the 60 number. It was 69. It was below 69. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like someone uh, threw away a perfectly good white boy. Oh, that was a badass <laughs> line. I've been a fan of Keith David because of this movie as a kid. So anyways, cheers to you guys. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag Son and Kike are movie snubs. <laughs> <laughs> we're becoming ones. We are. Yeah. We're, kind of, we're becoming uh, connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Next, yeah. Uh, next time uh, we'll be drinking wine. Mm. We should. We should. We should be like. Oh no, we're gonna get fucked up, bro. Don't. Ass, yeah. No, we're gonna get fucked, bro. Like I'm, you, I can see you drinking a Merlot, half a fucking a glass, and you're gonna be like. Yeah, uh, you, it's like you weren't even fucking again. like wearing it's like blood. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's not. No, you're gonna fucking like get stupid by the middle of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another guy commented on the met retrospect for dude for my uh -huh. work. He says Fernando six one six. Kike, is that his yeah. real name? That is his real name. Not six one six, but it is Fernando. Does he have videos? Uh, not his, but he created playlists. Of what? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, he's a, I mean, he likes music, so he puts new tunes, and then uh, the other one is just, like, classics, I guess. It says MM3. I don't know what that means. 
but yeah. But what movie music, of, dude? What kind of music is he like? Let me see. One of these guys is uh, R&B, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Mac Miller and stuff. Yeah, you know? that's cool. Fifty Cent. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, Fernando. You can tell he's brown for sure. Fernando, yeah. He could be black. Like Nowadays, Fernando. black people have like Mexican names nowadays. Yo, like, Fernando. Or Cortez. Yeah, I guess shit. so, yeah. Hey, Cortez. Cortez. Or Santana. I've heard. Or Cinco Ocho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happening. It's happening now. We're mixing now. We're mixing now. We're fucking, mm-hmm. up. We're fucking the blacks and they're fucking us. Not... It's happening. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there's a chanclita that I met one time. I'm wait. I'm waiting to see the first uh, Mexican chick where her name's Daniqua, some ass like that. Daniqua? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mexican chick. Hello, my name is Daniqua Martinez. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wait for that ass. It'll happen, Kiki. It'll happen. I'm waiting for it. Uh, Bully Bukushé. Hi, my my name is Bully Bukushé. <laughs> what? Yeah, in Europe, European ways. That'll never happen. <laughs> They didn't know what it means. It means you want to fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Fernando says, I've never been on this channel before, but I'll watch anything about this overlooked comedic gem. Mm-hmm. The commie bastard gets no food. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the guy was tripping out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Maybe I think this guy, I don't think he subscribed because we didn't get any new subscribers. We lost no. you guys. Yeah. We did, unfortunately. Unless he subscribed on Saturday, he was one of the three, and he stayed. Okay, well, let's let's not uh, autopsy this bullshit, bro. Come on, we well, have to. <laughs> we gotta figure out how. What do we? What do we? Is we're doing wrong? <laughs> Why don't they like us? Yeah, yeah, Why? yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> gotta figure it out, motherfucker. Uh, All right, cheers, Fernando. Cheers, Fernando. Fernando. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Gomer says on the son's parenting skills. Because I was oh, telling yeah. you, yeah, you, you fucked up about it. you're trying to teach your kids about go outside and mow the lawn like a Mexican. Yeah. If you want some money, because that's what you're going to do uh-huh. for the rest of your life. Be a Mexican. Yeah. An ass. I try yeah. to be, teach my kid that he's a king. And he's better than everyone. No. Oh, okay. He need to look down on everyone. Yeah, yeah. Even though he's short as fuck. Fuck you. You deserve everything. I'm gonna fuck a tall chick. Don't worry about it. Uh, he's one of these short kings. No, don't worry <laughs> about it. All kings were short. Dead. Yeah, yeah. Most of them, yeah. yeah. Anyways, he's Mark Ruffalo is a crackhead idiot. <laughs> he, made, <laughs> he made fun of Tennessee when he had oh. we had our tornadoes in 2021. That's he said not cool. That because we ordered for Trumps, we got the tornadoes. Oh shit! You're right. I forgot that he said that. That's fucked up, bro. What a dumbass. So he's stupid. I um, mean, he also had a, a brain aneurysm, and that's why his face is crooked. That's what he uh, gets. That's why he has an eye like this. Okay. That's what he gets. Uh, he's a shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go ahead. Keep eating your fucking bean, bean edible meat or whatever the fuck you want to call it. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Keep sending your 50 cents a month to save the whales, you pussy. Yeah, your crooked face. <laughs> With your crooked face. In the eyes of an angel. Anyway. He said, he says so stupid that he does Only 50 even... cents a month. You can help. Shut the fuck up, Kika. Let me finish reading. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. He's so stupid that he doesn't even know the tornadoes are almost everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. As for Kim Kardashian, she's a crackhead too. When I was a kid and I worked in the log woods with my dad, I asked, why don't you pay me to work out here? This is hard work. He said, well, you're getting says, uh, you're getting paid with the roof over your head. My mom gave me allowance for chores. Hell, she even would even pay for 25 cent cheese at drive through because he had it already at home. Yeah, my parents were the same way. They're all like, you had the cheese when you get home on the hamburgers. We put our craft cheese on it. It sucked ass. Their cheese was better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get a McDonald's, you get the cheap shit, motherfucker. There's <laughs> McDonald's at home. There's, there's bread there. There's ham and cheese over there. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, I'll make McDonald's. My fuck you. 
Yeah. Uh, less than 50, 50, thousand birthday part um uh i was fucked up i don't know what he said he goes, <laughs> i he guess said, the weed is really said, good yeah yeah fuck you Kike. he said we already had the cheese at home uh much less than fifty thousand dollar birthday parties like this bitch is having for her kids cheers yeah. hashtag live and uh hashtag I don't know what I'm doing. I had to think of something. I had to think of something to do during that part. Gomer, you're putting me on the spot. I haven't thought of anything. Uh, Gomer, uh, I, I remember when I was a kid and the best fucking days was, was summertime. My mom would put on one of those plastic fucking pools, right? And she had fucking ham and cheese sandwiches and Kool-Aid, bro. That was the shit when I was a kid. And potato chips. I would put the potato chips inside of the sandwich and be all, it'll be all crunchy. It's the best feeling in the world. You don't need all this bullshit. You know you're poor when you don't buy ice cream sandwiches. Instead, your mom pours Kool Aid into the fucking uh, into the, the the ice cube tray and then puts toothpicks. Oh and yeah. And then it just gives you the fucking shit of Kool Aid. <laughs> That's me growing up, bro. <laughs> yeah. I would do that myself. <laughs> my mom wouldn't do that for me. Oh no, that's that's fucking that's that, that was my growing that was my fucking growing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, cheers to being poor or growing up cheers, poor. Cheers, cheers. It gives man. you a different perspective of life. Oh yeah, it like builds that. character, bro. It builds character. Mostly a poor character, but yeah. It makes you not give a fuck what anyone else thinks. Well, it makes you not fucking like panic when shit is going like hitting but shit is hitting the fucking fan, you know? It makes me feel that if I had money like Kim Kardashian, I would spend. Fuck that. I would have turned the whole house pink. The walls on the outside, inside, <laughs> everything pink, motherfuckers. Just for a day. Do it. Really? For okay. my kid. We have money. I came from nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, oh, that's yeah. going to take a good hefty chunk of your year <laughs> allowance. Do it. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Kiki. Kids, we're never gonna do this again. <laughs> I can't afford another car. Fuck you. Fuck you, Kiki. Hey, the money keeps coming in. We're doing a podcast every Friday. All right, you better be funny too, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> giving me shit because you spend money, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy fucking giving me? Shit we gotta for? do a podcast tomorrow, Kiki. I need more money. Yeah. Hey, no. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, let's move on. You're gonna be a slave when we make it, Kiki. I'm gonna make you work. We're gonna do a morning show in the morning and shit. Yeah, 6 a.m. Hey, it's Sunny Kiki on the way to work. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wake up, motherfucker! <laughs> you idiot. Here, smoke some of this. It's got crack in it. That'll wake you the fuck up. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. This guy's running around the studio. Yeah. Idiot! <laughs> all right, all right. Gomer on the Jimmy Page is a communist. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Short video. <laughs> Why? Okay. Because he's Fine. Asian. Yeah, we already went over this. Uh, uh, everything. Right. Uh, he says, everything has been redone throughout the world. Uh, everything has been wrote and rewritten throughout time. Even the original origin stories have ideas from other movies and music and etc. All yeah. worry about it is that they got to do it just to do it good, and I feel like Jimmy Page did good. Cheers. Oh wow! Well, someone's delusional, right? Who? I'm just kidding. I'm, ah, I'm just kidding. Go over this fucking <laughs> asshole. I'm kidding. Go over. I'm kidding. Go over. Fuck you, Kike. How dare you? That's Look, it. I'm, gonna... I'm giving you. I'm giving you all the green light on Kike. Fuck you, Kike. Son of a bitch. How dare you? No, I'm gonna be Joe Rogan. He's stealing fucking music. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, he was. They were stealing music. I mean, that's not cool. Uh, nah, it's it, it, you know what? My brother still listens to Led Zeppelin. I listen to Led Zeppelin every once in a while. But it, let's face the truth. They, I'm not gonna lie. Well, ever since you music. told me that, I fucking I took it off my playlist. I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. There's a certain rage that you feel, right? Like I, 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 I feel like, it. Oh, those motherfuckers! They've been lying to me. <laughs> I took it off. Did you see the video where they're comparing all the songs and shit? And you know what's weird? Yeah. <laughs> and you know me. Uh huh. 
but lately, I can't stand Tool. Really? Oh my God! Are you you know me. What? And I, I was trying to feel what the fuck is wrong I with you. Skip, skipping the songs because I have it on rent. Oh, you like, got fed up with it, I think. You know what it was? What? You were sore. They, <laughs> no, I because I've been I've been thinking about it. Why? Why do I fucking I don't I don't I just <sighs> uh, and I just changed the song like I'm done with it. Really? Yes. And I, <laughs> and I just <laughs> really not that doesn't do anything to you. You know what it is? Is that. They... I know the pieces fit. No, okay. <laughs> because the last new album uh-huh. was that. Not around. Oh. Everything mm-hmm. else since then, to me, has been B sides of that album. Oh. They never oh. E- they haven't they never evolved. Every album they were evolving and their sound was changing. And it and then they just got stuck in some weird fucking place where it sounds the same to me it just sounds the same all the <sighs> albums after that sound the same i kind of liked it but you're right you're it, right it sounds like b-sides it sounds like the songs that were not good enough to be on that album because they're not i remember that listening for the first time like the the, the last album i was like okay i mean it wasn't like great I was just like, no, I got it. Cool. I pre-ordered it. I yeah. spent fucking seventy dollars. Yeah. this fucking badass cover and animates and all this ass music. Even I remember you showed it to me. It. it looks fucking badass. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't good at all. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, it's weird because a lot of people hate the Beatles. They hate the Beatles. Like they despise the Beatles. But like that's one of the bands that actually came up with pop and then rock. And then alternative, and, and then fucking and like shit, every trip, shit, 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 yeah. like all these fucking evolutions that they, yeah, because they kept on changing crazy. and evolving, you know, yeah. their sound. They kept, yeah, and and that's I, that's what I think of a, a, a good musician should be is you you should always keep if you're just gonna sound the same forever. Yeah, that's that's What's just the, the yeah, that's a shtick. Like they say, like in comedy, that oh, that's a you shtick. don't have to copy the new sounds, but no. you should move your sound like evolve. Yeah. Well, I mean, you make a good point. I still like fucking Tool, though. I fucking love it. <laughs> I, I've been listening more to the earlier stuff. Uh, Under oh, yeah. Tool. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, it's and, fucking amazing, bro. But I just can't stand anything. like Even Lateralis at the moment, I I, I skip Lateralis songs. because I, I, I know exactly what you're thinking. It's formulating. It's a formula. That's 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 what you're thinking right now. It's you grow, a formula. you grow, you grow, yeah. and they didn't grow. It stayed the same. Uh, yeah. That yeah. bothered me. I, I get you, bro. I get you. Pussifer is way cooler than Tool, and uh, and it's better than a Perfect Circle. I, I held a Perfect Circle up here, and then their third oh album. Oh my god, a Perfect Circle, Their third bro. album was ass. Uh, but no, Pussifer is badass. You ever heard yeah. Pussifer? Yes, I they, have. They got some weird songs that are just oh yeah weird. Yeah, they're uh, but they're weird. Yeah, Maynard's being a Maynard, and he's doing country and stupid shit yeah. like that talking about boners and ass uh but <laughs> nah, whatever there's a few dumb songs yeah. but but they're Pacifer's fucking badass it's to me sometimes to me sometimes it sounds like nine inch nails with maynard in it like hey, oh. not exactly like nine inch nails, but like something yeah. like it like Pacifer's that's fucking... a that's an interesting uh way of seeing it uh, okay yeah. i can see that a little bit yeah you're right yeah, I still like him. I still like fucking a perfect circle. I like tool. I like anything that Maynard does. Um, he is getting a little old. He can't sing as good as before. Get, well, that's because he got COVID. He talked about it. Yeah, yeah. And he said he fuck- ever since ever since that COVID scarred his lungs, he said. He fucked his knee and his fucking like pelvis because of stumping, because that's the way he sings. <laughs> yeah, we're all changed, man. It's, I mean in that sense, in that sense. Well, I guess. Anyways, all right, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> we digress. Super Saiyan Joe Koo on the Kim Kardashian success of parenting. I've done both big parties for my kids and and uh over the years realizing I'm paying for a lot for one day events. Don't get me wrong, I love my kids, but I'm cheap these days. Cheers, mother flowers. 
Uh, everyone's cheap nowadays. I mean, yeah. it's not even a, a surprise, but it's like, like, Joe who gets it? Fuck you, Kike. You have the money, you spend it, you pussy. Well, it's just, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I grew up poor, and I still have great memories as a kid, so I don't really think those are things that you need to really fucking, like, spend your money on. Uh, and kids understand that. Like, like when they grow up, they're fucking little people. Oh, yeah. They'll Thanks, grow up Dad, and they'll understand. For, for, for having money but never letting me experience a happy childhood. Fuck you! It's what they're going to tell you when they grow up. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least they fucking ate throughout their fucking life. They they're didn't gonna, just fucking eat like... whether you're poor or rich. You idiot. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. You Jesus. send them to school, they get one free meal a day. And breakfast, no. actually, two free meals a day. Man, well, I don't know. I mean, that's Texas. Not other, not all fucking states have that. Well, then be blessed that you live in the greatest state in America. I do. Idiot. I love Texas. All right, good. All right. Anyways. Cheers, Joku. Cheers, Joku. Fuck you, Kike. Hey, fuck you, son. You hateful little fucking bitch. No, fuck you. <laughs> Joku on the comments says, Uh-huh. Thanks to Rocco. Hashtag. Whoa. Live. Hashtag Kike <laughs> is better than everyone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But Kike, this will be the one time I'll say it and very talented and appropriate you. He he claps. Thank no, you for being you. my brown friend. Cheers, oh, mother thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I'm, I'm your brown friend. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, Thank yeah. you for being my brown friend. Oh, is this the last one? Let me see. Let's see. It is. This is the last one. And it's none other than Jose Trevino. <laughs> Let me hit it for this Mexican from Houston, Texas. Yeah. Tu nombre, por favor? Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ok? <laughs> Tienes envidia, puto. Oh, cheers, Joe Cool. You crazy yeah. son of a bitch. Uh, on the on the podcast video, he says, "What up, gays? I mean, totally rat dudes." <laughs> I heard the show, which is más cabrón de la neta, and it was <laughs> great as usual. Just saying what's up while working another Friday night, squishing the pickle and listening to y'all in the background. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got disco, you got us. What else? <laughs> Anyways, shout out to the Woke Pack World Order, the WWO. Y'all should make a drop of that. Oh. Yeah. H-Town for life. Cheers, dudes. Hashtag. Uh, oh, oh shit, I fucked up. I pressed uh, this thing and went all the way down. All right. Hashtag Wolfpack World Order. Hashtag WWO. Oh, that'd be cool. The WWO. WWO. We have a shirt that says WWO instead of NWO. The WWO. Yeah. Wolfpack World Order. Thank yeah. yeah. Wolfpack World Order. Ah, there you go, there you go. Cheers, Joe Cool. Cheers, I uh, like it. Working the pickles at work. Cheers. Um, thank you. You all. know what I noticed? What? What did you know? Joe, <laughs> Joe Cool sounds a lot like Joku. <laughs> Joe Cool, Joe Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. thought you said Joku, and I was like, oh no, well, you I'm, Joku. I'm, so, I'm supposed to be saying Super Saiyan Joku. I'm fucking up. <laughs> No, no, but that, that that's cool. That's cool. Fuck you, Kike. You think you're better because you pronounce shit ass? <laughs> you think you're better because you pronounce shit? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, everyone pronounces it okay, except for the deaf. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. That's true. Anyways, um, thank you all. And I said we're gonna give away these shirts to new subscribers. Uh, everybody, <laughs> anybody who comments and and shows up on the live and people that we remember when it comes to like November or whatever the fuck. 
I don't know. We give away <laughs> shirts at the end of the year. And we forget. So you need to be like continuously like comment and whatnot. Yeah, we do drink and all the time. And you make us laugh and, and we'll choose yeah. you. We'll make you we'll we'll make you an intro like the rest of these assholes. Shit. Mm-hmm. Uh but cheers to y'all. And uh, mm-hmm. thank you all for the comments. Uh I really oh, yeah. appreciate y'all. Cheers. We're done with the goddamn comments and we're gonna get on moving with the weekly pop culture breakdown. And unfortunately, we do have to start with a segment that I am convinced is about to get us banned before we even get started. And shit. Oh, shit. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. We have to start this week. We had it happen in a long time. Here we go. Okay. The Weekly Pervert News. And this week, you get Marvel star Sochil Gomez, little Mexican mm-hmm. American girl. Actually, I should say American Mexican girl because she didn't know a damn shit of Spanish or Mexican. She, she sounded like ass in the movie whenever she spoke. <laughs> hey, it's the truth. It's the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, embarrassing. Yeah, it, it did not know any Spanish. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> anyways, uh, she's freaked out. About how many fucking Marvel perverts there are out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they, yeah, they yeah. are a lot. Yeah, yeah. She went on a podcast and she explained some of her grievances. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to show some snippets because I can't show all this, the, the, the shit. So I'm going to show okay. you some snippets of, uh, of some of this podcast and what she's talking about and complaining. Are you ready? Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two. One. I looked on Twitter and one of those kind of videos popped up and I was like, what is this? Yeah. And it wasn't until then that like I'd realized that my mom had actually like, you know, had full battles, like told my agents and was like, we need to take this down, that kind of thing. She had known and I yeah. didn't, you know, I'd never seen any of those before. Yeah. Um, when I asked her, I was like, what is this? Like, can we get this taken down? And she goes, I've tried, you know, I've tried so hard to get it down. Like she's had emails upon emails, but like there's been a lot and she's dealt with it all. And like, why is it so hard to take down? And that was my like whole thought on it was just like, why is this allowed? Um, so, yeah, she found deep fakes and I have some examples here of some safe <laughs> for work images that I found. There, okay. There's a God. lot. There's a lot of badass, not safe for work photos <laughs> and videos <laughs> and videos out okay. there. Uh, as you can see, AI is pretty amazing <laughs> at what it can do. But he can. She is a, a little girl. Barely oh seven, no! She's Don't seventeen. She is seventeen, and and people are are doing this on the internet and sharing you know perversions and uh and like she said like my mom's called the companies and they said they can't take it down because it's not not really her it's she's not real so yeah uh, can't yeah take it down because it's not her <laughs> oh Why can they take it down because they're hard as a rock <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of deep fakes i found a lot uh-huh. and surprisingly oh. there's a lot i don't know why of mm-hmm. dogs Fucking her. No, I why? don't know why. Why? Yeah, there's a lot of sick sons of bitches out there. Just, yeah, this poor yeah, little yeah. girl Kiki is. I mean, those dogs are sons of bitches for sure. Yeah. This little girl is having to go through this Kiki. Mm-hmm. to be exposed into <laughs> pornography situations without her consent. Her image. It's uh, that's the world we live in now. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a like you fake want world. Be, it's a fake yeah. world. Uh, you want to be famous? You, you're gonna you're gonna see a picture of you sucking a dick. <laughs> it's like that's such that's such for sure thing. It doesn't matter who you are. 
Uh, and I don't think it's just exclusively her. It's everyone in the. Oh business. yeah, there's tons. I sent you the yeah. website where where the deep fakes are. They're badass. You can find any. Yeah, I mean, Sorry, Yost is the most popular one. Sorry, Yost. It's... There's hundreds of videos of her. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's 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 it, Billy Bobby Brown what... is second famous, I think. Jesus. Yost and she, Billy Bobby Brown. People he doesn't are... need to fucking like. <laughs> people don't need to fake her. Like Millie Bobby Brown comes out in her own Instagram without a bra, bro. No, there's videos <laughs> of her getting fucked. I well, I mean, I, I don't doubt that. I'm just saying, <laughs> people shouldn't have done those because I mean, she, apparently she doesn't like bras. But anyways, neither did the uh, girls in the videos. But you know, oh, looks like, oh yeah, I, oh yeah, that's the a face given. looks just like her. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Technology is amazing, huh? They can work in the uh, voice. They can work in the voice, but they haven't gotten that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It yeah, sounds a... like the old actress. Yeah, they're still working on it. They're still working on it. <laughs> I, I hate when it's Russian, and then you just hear like Scarlett Yost. We not. He's the cop. No, he's not a Yeah, yeah. God damn it! <laughs> can I get it dubbed? <laughs> oh, no, Eleven is not with the bad guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, calm down, calm down. All right, they have Stanley, Stanley Hanfield and all those other little girls in there too. All right, <laughs> okay, not okay. just eleven. Okay, good. All right, good. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, we're definitely uh, this is the last show we're doing today, <laughs> or ever, uh, especially yeah. because of what we're gonna keep talking about. Cause we're not done no, with the perverts. Yeah, what? We're not done with the perverts. Okay, That's what everyone's been talking about. Oh, yeah. Good old Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Uh-huh. Uh, have you all been watching? Has been accused once more, uh, this time of uh, prostitution. And I'm <laughs> saying the word that no one is saying, because that's basically everybody's saying sex trafficking. Prostitution. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and we're going to say everything. That everyone's too afraid to say in all the videos on YouTube because I've watched everybody's YouTube videos and the first thing all these pussies are saying, Kike, uh-huh. this is a monetized channel. <laughs> there is a link in the description to the articles uh, oh. with the full description, but we will not be giving details. <laughs> pussies. We don't get paid. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't even monetize monochromatization and shits. All right. We don't, we're not making yeah. no money. So we're going to say it. We don't give a fuck. Okay. So get ready for this. All the uh-huh. details right here on Dude's Podcast. The facts coming straight to you. Vincent Kenny McMahon apparently is getting sued by uh, this little girl. Her name is Janelle Grant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And back in 2019, she got a job there. Probably like, you know, I don't know, go make copies and some ass because, you know, like you're really young and uh, and you're barely starting out and you're dumb as fuck, uh, <laughs> but you're pretty. So you're hired. So she was making copies or some ass. And then one day, she, Vince McMahon took her to the office or whatever the fuck. And then like pulled his dick out and was this dumb little girl. She doesn't know what better. The and then, copy room. He, t- yeah. he took her to the copy room. Yeah, pulled his dick out or whatever the fuck. And this little girl is kind of dumb or whatever. And so she grabbed it. And he's all like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to stay the facts. All right. He said that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not how he sounds. Kike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this is really good, this good looking job, baby. Good. Good job, baby. That's how he sounds, Kika. You ever seen the wrestling? That's how he sounds. I'm pretty good at McMahon. I'm pretty good at McMahon. Oh, I thought you were doing her. I was like, oh, shit. That's McMahon going on. Oh, oh, okay. 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 (laughs) Anyway. Yeah, yeah. My bad. I'm the person. So then McMahon realizes Uh, that this chick uh is a little slut. And he's all like, (laughs) yeah. And he's like, man, I could just go in there. And so the next day, he just goes in there to the copy room again. Bends her yeah. over and she starts telling no, and he's like, Oh, be quiet, bitch. And he just starts fucking her. No. And yeah, and she takes it and she's okay with it, whatever. And she gets all horny and then starts enjoying mm-hmm. it. You know, even, even if she said no, she starts enjoying Jesus. it. Jesus. Yeah. And so then McMahon's all like, This bitch is a little slut. So the next day, <laughs> yeah, the next day, McMahon goes. No, there. Day, why, why are we doing like describing a porno, bro? Come That's on. Right, yeah, I'm, this is the details in the lawsuit. This is what everyone uh. doesn't want to tell you, and I'm telling you the details. Okay. It's gonna get worse. I don't right. think they use those words in the fucking details. You wanna go and read it? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's pretty filthy and it's gonna get 
You have no idea how filthy you... we're gonna okay, get banned. Well, Everything I'm about to say, right, right, we're gonna right, get right. banned. Cause you... I know you don't know. <laughs> I read everything. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. We're gonna get banned after I say all this. But here we go. Okay. Uh, I don't care. We don't make money. And then nobody watches us. There's four four people watching yeah. us right now. We're getting banned. <laughs> all right. Anyways. All right. So yeah, this motherfucker says this little chick is a little slut. Well, the next day, he takes John Laurinaitis, his number two, and they go, uh -huh. both go in there. He tells, hey, Johnny, let's go in there. Look, watch. I'm just going to... Wait, wait, what's his name again? John Laurinaitis. He's he's uh, the stepfather. That sounds like a disease. Yeah, he, he is. Uh, I have John Laurinaitis. He was. He was a disease. Uh, but he's the Bella Twins. The Bella Twins' stepfather. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nikki Bella and, and Brie Bella. Yeah. Uh, but anyways... Uh, so he took him in there. Come on, Johnny. Like, watch. I'm gonna start fucking her, and then you pull your dick oh, out, and I'm gonna Jesus tell her to Christ. start sucking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they went yeah. over there, and that's what Vince started mm -hmm. doing. He started fucking her in front of him, and then pull your mm -hmm. dick out and start sucking his dick, and she started doing it and shit. <laughs> and then he's all like, yeah. "Oh, this bitch is this chick is ours." And so they started using her. Oh no, yes. he didn't say that. No, yes, <laughs> that's how he is. This chick is ours. I'm just wow, being Vince wow. McMahon. All right. And so okay. that's what they they realized. This little girl's a dumb, dumb little oh, girl. Easy. We're still alive. Yeah. We're still alive somehow. Okay. And they started fucking. <laughs> they started yeah. taking advantage of her. All right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, and then like, oh, you have her on Tuesdays. I'll have her Sundays. We'll have oh her. Jesus yeah. Christ! And it was okay. there at work again. The office while everyone's there punched in. They would just go over there into her office, lock the door, and fuck the shit out of her, and then walk out all happy and shit, high fiving <laughs> and shit. Yeah, this is what they were doing. And then. It got to the point where Vince McMahon was, they were shooting videos and taking pictures. And then uh -huh. Vince McMahon was showing the production team. Hey, I, I'm, she's easy. I bet I can get her to gangbang all of us. Oh my God. And he was showing the pictures and videos and the, and the production team was all like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And shit. And, you know, and then Vince was sending, and there's text messages. This is why I know all the details because of the text messages. <laughs> Vince was texting her. I just told the production team they're down to gangbang you. And yeah. And she's all like, well, just give me a little bit. I need to get ready for that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, like, don't worry, baby. Like, <laughs> She's getting paid for all of this, by the way, because, you know, she just started and he's giving her privileges, getting paid for all of this. And she's, I guess she's having I'm, fun. I'm, I'm yeah, she's having fun. yeah, this is where some of the crazy stuff starts happening. <laughs> now the crazy stuff's happening? <laughs> Jesus. Yes, this is what's going to get us banned. Here we go. In one of the instances... <laughs> When John Laurinaitis and Vince McMahon were fucking the shit out of her in a threesome, Vince McMahon orders her to start sucking John Laurinaitis' dick, and so she gets on her knees, starts sucking his dick, and then Vince, mm -hmm. according to her, in yeah. the lawsuit, not mm -hmm. me, yeah. Vince starts shitting on her head and her hair, <laughs> and the shit runs down all oh, her head and what her, the fuck and her is back wrong and her body. Bro? And then he tells her, finish sucking his dick. And oh. she finished, and then they, and then she went and took a shower afterwards. And they laughed. Thank God. And they yes. laughed at her. Uh, anyways, eventually, Vince McMahon's wife found out, because, hello, this is happening at work, and they eventually, oh, yeah, this was this is another thing that was mentioned. What, she didn't crap on her that night? No, That's no. how she found out? Let me, let me explain. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why aren't you shitting on me anymore? <laughs> Something's happening. You've changed. It's not like you. <laughs> you changed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're really grunting this time. You're trying to take out something that is not there. <laughs> no, thank God. I'm not done. I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not done. Uh, he was also loaning her out to the wrestlers and shit. Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton. Uh, oh. fucking Batista. Everybody fucked this little girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Vince had videos and pictures because he liked to masturbate. And he would send her text messages says, I want to find oh, the no. biggest dicks in this company and then have them <laughs> fuck you in front of in front of me. That's what Vince, those oh, are the text no. messages he was sending her, bro. He was saying, I want to find the biggest oh. black dicks in the company and then have these fuckers fuck you in front of me. Oh, that's why he wanted a fucking, like, all these big-ass fucking wrestlers in his fucking company. <laughs> Imagine that's the reason why this fucking horrendous fucking person here. Oh, my God, dude. I so, thought he was evil. Now I, I really think he's Satan with his little fucking mustache, too. 
His wife found out of the affair. Now calm down, Kiki. He shaved the mustache off. He's back to looking normal, right? He doesn't look that evil. <laughs> okay. But anyways, uh, his wife found out of the affairs. Maybe, maybe not about the shitting on the on the heads and shit, but she found out he was fucking his little girl, and yeah. uh, and and uh, and so he had to fire her, and he told her, "I'm gonna ask you. To, I'm gonna ask you to sign this non." I'm gonna have to fire. You. Yeah. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to fire you and I'm gonna ask mm. you to sign this non-disclosure agreement where you're not allowed to say anything that happened here. Oh. And I'm gonna give you three million dollars a year. Yeah. For life. For 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 life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she signed it. Yeah. Uh but uh when COVID hit and been, and all this shit was happening, the first allegations and that Vince got fired and being he had to <laughs> find a way to sell the company to weasel his way back into power, all this shit that was happening. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, stopped yeah. giving her payments. Mm. So now she's suing. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh so that's why. Okay. No, okay, she was calm all... down. This she was apparently okay with all this, you know. For a while, uh, yeah, I mean, three million dollars I mean, a year. Kike. <laughs> That's pretty good. A lot of sex with a lot of men. That's pretty comfortable. I don't know about the shit. Life. I mean, I've been thinking the shit would be a well, bonus. Yeah, I'd be like, you yeah, know yeah. what? You need to give me a bonus for the yeah, night. Well, every once in a while, you get shit on. <laughs> like, that deserves a bonus that night. He, she better have got a uh, bonus. Yeah, yeah. yeah the bonuses thousand. are not what you think it is. This is the bonus. <laughs> there you go. That's the bonus. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Literally. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Kike, what do you think? Uh, oh yeah, the UFC. Uh, Dana White had to come out and give a fucking because you know <laughs> because this is <laughs> they're part of TKO now. <laughs> oh, that's true. I forgot about that. You know, like that. WWE Jesus got Christ. bought by by UFC, and now it's a bigger company, and the bigger company is called TKO <laughs> Holdings. And on Tuesday, okay, and they call TKO Holdings, right? But uh, yeah. they had to come out and uh, give a statement, and he said, "Hey, you know what? Uh -huh. That stuff happened before we merged as a company." <laughs> yes, I wasn't and, invited. Yeah. And <laughs> no. he's not in charge of anything. Yeah, that, that we do back then. No, he's just a member of the board. He's just a vote. Oh, okay. He, yeah, yeah, he told he has no yeah. power in anything right. of the day to day of yeah. anything that we do. Yeah. He's just a member of the board. He goes, mm -hmm. but we're taking this seriously and we're going to investigate ourselves. Our yeah. company is investigating. Um, he's gone, bro. And I think he's going yeah. to jail. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> <not> hopefully. <laughs> you can't it's, get away with that shit. Uh, some, imagine if he does. <laughs> oh my uh, God. I, this is all true. Just because of the text messages alone, I believe the, everything because. The text messages is the worst because the text messages he's telling her, I can't wait to do all this to you. <laughs> yes, and he's describing it. I'm gonna let this wow. guy do this to you, and then I'm gonna do this to you, and then you're gonna be covered in this, and then it's gonna be yeah. awesome because you're gonna beg us for more. And yeah, don't like forget that. to send me the antibiotics tomorrow. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, but this I'm not, come on, let's be honest at the same time. I mean, yeah, this is yeah, this yeah, is yeah. horrible. But this chick was into it. <laughs> well, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I mean, like, once the chick stopped fucking coming in, uh, oh. she had a problem after that. Yeah. Wow. The things uh, they do for money, man. Wow. Money. Well, I mean, Crazy. it's money and pleasure. No, it was, this was money and she was having fun. In her head. Getting shit on. I mean, like, it's, well, I mean, it's hard for me to point, believe. I, mean, yeah. I, think, I think at that point, maybe she started regretting her life's choices. But before that, I'm pretty sure she was having fun, Kiki. Well, yeah, there comes a point. Like, I'm pretty sure they were, like, also, like, fucking with her. And not, I mean, obviously, literally. But, like, in the sense that we're like, hey, we can, let's, let's take a shit on her. Like, how about that? We're paying a lot of money, huh? That's horrible, man. But when it comes down to it is that Vince McMahon, whether you <sighs> want to believe it or not, he mm -hmm. is a billionaire for a reason. These people are called psychopaths. They yeah. don't have a moral compass. They mm -hmm. don't feel they only care about like once they know that they can buy is, anything they, they can, they they start fucking buying anything they can. And and if they can, you know, have fun while taking a shit on you, they'll fucking take a shit on you and pay you. 
He's probably doing some cocaine. Oh, some oh, bad yeah. cocaine, and he got the. Oh, shit. they have to be on something. I mean, like you wouldn't like be a right off the bat. Oh, I have money. Let me shit on someone. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude? I only shit on people that piss me off, Kike. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. If they piss you, then you're gonna take a shit on them. Fuck you, Kike. You know what? You're pissing me off. You want me to shit on your car? Nah. Let's see if you can do that. You dare me? <laughs> I will yeah, drive just, after the podcast the of, and go shit on your window. No, man, just you're to not fuck, gonna drive. Just to show you like up, three hours. Just fuck to you. show you up, I will drive over there and fucking <laughs> lay a shit on your windshield. You son of a bitch. Lay everyone else know tonight. Uh, That's what I'm doing? You bring can't. a ladder. Bring a ladder. Yo, 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 yo. yo. I drive an SUV. Oh, don't bring. Don't worry. I'll be up there, and I'm gonna take a big shit, and I'm not gonna drink any water, so it can be hard. <laughs> Yep. Easy to watch you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Kike. I'm letting you have it. Just you wait. <laughs> all right, all right. All right Jesus, we'll stop with the shit, man. Oh, my God. I didn't start it. Vince McMahon did. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, we're moving on. Yeah. Since we're talking yeah. about the mm-hmm. WWE, let's move on to the weekly loser news. You know what that means? No. What? It means you have no skills and you're a loser! (laughs) And this week, Kike, Mm -hmm. wrestling fans are the losers. Not only because Vince McMahon probably brought brought down the the, the fucking value of the company once again. (laughs) (laughs) He he shit it all over the company. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, Uh once again. Yeah. Yeah. But they sold the fucking rights to Raw, the three-hour main show on Monday night, to Netflix for five what? years. And Netflix paid them $5 billion for five years. Well, that's a great excuse not to watch WWE. <laughs> so now you will have to have a Netflix account. Or you can just get a VPN and do what we do and go to that website, the Indian website, the, the Hindi yeah. website, and they stream yeah. live television. Sometimes, I mean, it gets it's the downsides. You get a lot it's of pop bad. ups. Yeah. The quality sometimes is sketchy and it, sometimes it stops. It's, you know, it stops a lot. Some, some may say it makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay for it. That's all that matters. Uh, look, Netflix paid a lot of money for this investment. And here's the crazy part. Uh-huh. Outside of the U.S., yeah, they're gonna control the way all VPNs those, work. No, the way all those territories watch WWE because over here it's only Raw and the pay per views. Yeah. Because uh-huh. the other two shows, one of them's going to the CW, which is gonna fail. Oh, no one oh, even wow. watches the CW. CW. Yeah, NXT is wow. going to only CW. teenagers watch that shit. Yeah. I think. NXT well, I mean, teenagers, and then uh, uh, the SmackDown, which is on Fox, is mm-hmm. moving to USA, which used to have this main show. The main yeah. show is the flag show, but the flag show is going to be streaming on Netflix. But Kike, doesn't people have problems with Netflix? Because you want to stream high quality, but if your TV's not high quality, you don't get the high quality picture. So you're paying, overpaying for quality you yeah. can't even use. Yeah, exactly. No, that's true. That's true. Like, even if you pay for, like, 4K and you have a fucking 1080p uh, TV, you're not going to fucking get the whole fucking nice fucking thing. You're just fucking paying for extra stuff that you don't even own. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what they also did? And this is what? TK. Remember, I know we're saying it's WE, but WE mm-hmm. is underneath a, a big company now. That is true. UFC is, is no. included in that company. Mm-hmm. The company's called TKO. TKO just made The Rock, Big Cock Johnson, uh-huh. a member of the board. Really? Well, let's hope that he doesn't propose fucking movies. Because <laughs> they're going to suck. No. Yeah. He owns the XFL. I think TKO is about to include Wait, the that's XFL. that's still a thing? XFL still a thing? It was about to die and The Rock bought it off of Vince. For super wow. cheap, for super cheap, because Vince needed money, and he bought it wow. cheap, and so The Rock has had it. He just, he just had it, and now he's part of a company where he can like. Here's another sports thing you can add. 
<laughs> and he's gonna drive up the value of TKO, bro. Well, that's true. That's true. A little bit. I mean, like until fucking people get sick of that fucking bullshit. I mean, I don't think it's gonna be feasible to 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 have something on a fucking like streaming platform. You I have think to pay for. They're going to lose mm -hmm. American viewers. They're gonna gain people worldwide. Because mm -hmm. I think more people around the world subscribe to Netflix than actual Americans. Ah, then it's going to be a good move then. It is. Because, yeah, yeah, not a lot of people have that access to that shit. But now they have a platform where they can actually access it whenever the fuck they want. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for everyone else. That's actually pretty cool. But I mean, like, if you're smart enough, you will have a fucking VPN. Get a fake fucking I, uh, the, the, the email and then and, and get all those services if you're a fuck in India or whatever the fuck you are. I kind of want to watch the Royal Rumble but we're going to be watching AEW. Jose Trevino! What's up, motherfucker? Let's play for this asshole who's here. I just realized he's here! This <laughs> asshole. Here we go. Repites tu nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ok? Oh, yeah! Oh, cheers, Joe Cool. You're the shit, motherfucker. Uh, cheers, Joe. I want to watch the Royal Rumble this weekend, but AEW's on. They're going to have a cage match, and, and the, the bitches. That is true. The bitches are going to be yeah. on with the big asses, and I like that. Ad. I like big asses. The, the women's wrestling is so much better in AEW. It is. They're hot. It's so much better. And they're better wrestlers, too. Yeah, they really are. Um, yeah. The only one I'll say is Charlotte, but she's out. Charlotte's out. Yeah. Um, Rhea's good too. Rhea's hot as fuck. Um, yeah, I I don't know how I, this could go either way. They could make a lot of money, or they could just all of a sudden lose a lot of fans because they can't because some people won't be able to watch no, Monday no, Night Raw no. on Netflix. No, you know what? It, it makes a lot of sense. I was thinking like an idiot because I was just thinking about this country, but no, you're right. Like. People are gonna fucking eat this up in other countries. Netflix they need, is, they but, want this. And then there's those desperate fans that are loyal to WWE and will mm -hmm. get a Netflix. Oh subscription yeah, they will. They just will. to do that. Um so Netflix is uh they it's might just they, our, uh, us poor is there not gonna fucking do that. <laughs> I got a VPN. I'm, that's not poor. That is true. I'm a pirata for life. Because you're poor. <laughs> yeah. Jack Sparrow for life. I should just say we should do a Johnny Depp for life, and that means like pirate uh, for life. Johnny, uh, Depp Johnny Depp for life. J Johnny Depp for life. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Actually, you sound a little bit like Harrison Ford there, you dick. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta sound drunker. You gotta that. sound drunker. Um, fuck Chewbacca. Yeah. No, that's uh, Harrison Ford, you dick. That, that's all. Oh yeah, Johnny, uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, then, uh, uh, um, no, I can't do it. No, I'll think about <laughs> right, it. Right, fuck you. <laughs> I was, I was We're fucking thinking on. about Harrison Ford. Jesus. We're not done with the losers. <laughs> Just Polly Shore. Oh Jesus! Went on and premiered uh -huh. the mm -hmm. fucking court jester. Yeah. And I watched it. Mm hmm. And I cried. Yeah. Oh my God! You cried. At first, I was disgusted. Uh huh. And I was mad. And the way what? he was. Disgusted? Yeah, because he looks Why? disgusting trying to be Richard Simmons. This guy's like. <laughs> Why? Because he's like. Richard Simmons uh, was in better shape than this asshole. And well, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Because, like, uh, I this remember. This guy's Richard all flabby and, and wrinkly. And he looks better disgusting. Legs. Way yes. better legs. Yeah, the original shape ones was in better shape than Polly Shore. And Polly Shore looks disgusting yeah. with little shorts and shit. So I was disgusted, and then I was also yeah. kind of getting angry because it was almost like he was mocking him. Oh yeah, you you insulted him badly in the last fucking podcast. Oh, yeah, fuck that guy, and uh, <laughs> and then yeah, fuck that fucking son of a bitch. Okay, you didn't backtrack. Good for you. Uh, but you. anyways, but then he got to the part where he's talking to little fat boy or whatever. Yeah, and it got real. Oh yeah, yeah. And I understood, and I was like, okay, like this is good. Mm -hmm. But then. Like I like I said, I cried because uh, what happened and shit. This shit would happen, but then you go. I I started going down and reading the comments, 
and it was people going writing, down the rabbit hole yeah. yeah and people were writing a lot of badass stuff some people were writing stories about that they ran into Richard Simmons and they said, you know what? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's exactly how he was. And he was a badass person. And he would just run up to you and say hi and hug you and tell you that you're beautiful and that you're special and shit like that. That's cool. That's fucking cool. And uh, so, yeah, um, everybody's loving this and they think that he should do it. But you know what? This motherfucker's uh -huh. still a loser for going through with this. He can't. <laughs> because how dare you even mm -hmm. Kike, if somebody would go and ask you permission can i do you in a movie a kike movie and you say nah man i just want to be left alone like because i'm mm -hmm. going through some shit like you know very, okay. yeah and he said okay no nah, okay bye and then you find out that he still did it even if it's good would you not be still fucking pissed because you came in and asked me you came in and asked me and i still said no mm -hmm. and you still did it Son of a bitch. I would be pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be pissed if I was a character, uh, the main person that that character was built upon. Um, but oh, god damn it, because I saw the short too, and it wasn't that bad. Yeah, honestly, I mean, obviously, I would change the little kid, the little fat kid. He's not that great of an actor, but uh, it has potential. And I think uh, this guy uh, should uh, try to fucking like. Think about it, man. I don't know. No, this guy who held Polly Shore is a piece of shit. Because this is the <laughs> same. No, he is. I don't know who this guy, the Lester brothers, or where the fuck Russo brothers want to be motherfuckers. Mm, no, they, not, not the Jewish brother. motherfuckers because they were Jewish. The this Lewis already, brothers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Lewis, they're not Jewish at all because if they was Jewish, this would have been made already in the theaters, motherfucker. But you're not good enough, fucking Christian motherfucker. <laughs> Anyways. They've gotten all the fucking yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, they, that's what you get for believing in Jesus. But the fact is, this guy's a piece of shit. And let me explain to you why. It's oh, okay. because this is the second time he's done this. They did this to, oh. to Yeah, they did this with uh with uh what's his name? Uh Robin Williams. They went and asked the little girl and the family for permission, and the Wait. family said no, and then he still did the short movie that they put in the fucking internet. That's the same writer? Yes. That Polly oh, Shore my. called Kapali right. Short called that guy and told him, help me out because I'm in the same situation. I asked for permission. They told me, no. Hey, you're the man. Buddy. Yeah, you're the man. <laughs> I want you to do the same thing, but like, like with this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is the same guy. It, this guy's a fucking loser. Both of these guys are losers. Like, when you ask permission wow. and they tell you no, like, if you would have done know, it man. without permission, that's one thing. Yeah. But you went and asked and they told you no twice. You did it for Robin Williams yeah. and then you did it for this fucking guy and you fucking fuck you. That's what I gotta say. Well, the thing is, like, if, if, I mean, if you really like, like this person and his, whatever his work is and you want to portray it in film and that person tells you no, then you fucking politely just retreat and okay, we're done. But he wants to keep doing it. So I don't know, man. It's fucked up. He's a, you he's say a, no, it's no. He's a dumbass cat. Well, un un unless you wait until he dies. That's what he should have done. Idiot. <laughs> but he probably thinks that he's going to die before Richard Simmons because this guy's a fucking, he looks like ass. But the Robin Williams fucking movie is not going to get made either. So Exactly. So they yeah. still, that's why he said they still did it. I mean, they, they, they did a short film. They didn't do the movie. That's what Nobody, this is. They're not going to yeah. get the, to do the movie because they didn't yeah, get his permission. So they're doing the stupid ass bullshit. You're trying to get so, attention. So then get some what? clicks for clicks. Yeah. For clicks. Let me get oh, some subscribers on my Twitter. And shit. I'm promoting my new podcast, guys. That's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm on tour, on comedy tour. My mom is funny. I'm not. <laughs> my mom used to be funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm semi-famous. I used to do movies and shit. <laughs> Fuck a lot of chicks. Because I actually had a good-looking body back then. He was fucking... He looked at a good uh, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know you were trying to them. That's okay. Back in the day, Kiki. Not nowadays. He's a mm. loser nowadays. Yeah, yeah, I guess. But anyways, we're not done talking about losers, Kiki. Just guess mm -hmm. what? Mm. None other than this Jewish son of a bitch. JC. 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 Yeah, calm down, Kiki. He's Jew. Jesse Eisenberg. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason he's in Hollywood, all right? We all know the truth. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because Jesse's not that good. 
Okay. A little starky guy. A little starky. Okay, calm down. Anyway. Jesus. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg. He mm-hmm. says he's finally going to do the movie that's going to get him the Oscar. The best actor of all time. <laughs> Guess what? What? He is going to play Sasquatch, the Bigfoot, in a movie. <laughs> No, in a movie that documents the life, uh, the daily life of a Sasquatch, where there's going to be no dialogue, no characters, just like him eating plants and shitting in the woods and just walking around and shit. Oh, my God. Hiding in the bushes and shit. The hell, though? Fuck. That's going to be the most boring fucking movie in the world. That he went to a Sasquatch school to learn how to be a Sasquatch. <laughs> Yeah, he took it serious. He says, "I'm immersed. I was immersed. Like I didn't talk to people for days." And uh, you're gonna be like, "Um, so uh, how do I uh, wipe my ass while I'm in the, you know, out there, uh, in the middle of some? How the fuck? Imagine, no, bro. Yeah, he said it took like four hours to put on the, the fucking the, the prosthetics and all that ass. Uh, but he says that he stayed in it because he wanted to be a method actor. So he was Sasquatch in the woods and shit." He says it's going to be the best thing you've ever seen in your life. That, this, uh, come on. This yeah, has he, to be like, is this a 24 fucking movie or something? No, I tell me, if it was an A24, <laughs> I think I'd be excited about this. This is ass. He's a loser for thinking this is going to be a hit. <laughs> it's a sci-fi channel. You know no, what this National is? National Geographic. <laughs> the this, History Channel. <laughs> no, this, You know what this is, Kike? This is, is the equivalent of that movie where Harry Potter and Paul Dano... Paul Dano finds a dead body and it's Harry oh, Potter. Yeah. And then yeah, he farts yeah, yeah. and shit. And he that uses movie it, was fucked and up. And he uses him as a boat or some ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fucking this is what this movie is. It's ass. Yeah. I forget about that movie. Thank you for fucking bringing that up again. You think it's gonna look like one of these National Geographic documentaries? Like a movie that looks like that? <laughs> No, but I wish the fucking aliens guy comes out like there's aliens, you know, like that guy, <laughs> the Greek guy, Papalopoulos, or whatever the fuck his name. What are you talking about? Like the History Channel, the UFO, fucking like, oh yeah, ancient alien <coughs> aliens. The guy with the hair. Yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy. Fuck yeah. that guy, Kike. That guy's not even a real yeah. scientist or nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, like, someone with Snufflock, I guess, is his name. Yeah, you can believe him as a fucking real dude. You know what? Fuck that Jew and fuck this Jew and fuck you, oh. Jew. Yeah, we're moving on. You fucking Jews just took over the whole fucking podcast right now. Kid. Okay. You dumbass European motherfuckers coming around here. <laughs> this is a brown channel, Kike. American and shit. None of this ass. you be coming over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With your European ways, your, 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 your. Uh, uh, colonial, uh, uh, Protestant, uh, uh, uh ways and shit. <laughs> you yeah. Sometimes he would be like, "Why are you wearing cologne? You know that's colonial colonialism." And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to wear. You I haven't know. read anything, bitch." American, and I was like, yeah. "I do our, read Armani, no. American yeah. only." Yeah, and you're yes. like Armani, and you're like, "Yeah, fuck you." All right, let's move on. To my favorite segment of the week, uh-huh. the weekly gay news. I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. You, you ain't got you, the answers. You, you, you ain't got the answers, Sway. Kanye. I've been doing this more than you. Doing what? You ain't got. Come on, chill out. You bro. ain't got the answers. I am a god. Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. I just told you. That's who I think I am. And this week, Kike, it was yeah. date night. Yeze and his wife Bianca Sensori, and uh, he took her out in this new. Uh, her name should be changed to Unsensority. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He took her out in this new plastic duck look, duck wrap, alien alien duck wrap is what he's calling it, and uh, and he let her drive the the big uh, eighteen wheeler that they have. It's all chromed out with spinners and shit. Uh, mm-hmm. All black on black. Everything's black. Uh, she's all like plastic and shit. 
Um, they had a good time, you know. She looks futuristic. She looks like one of these, like one of those Godzilla she movies. She looks futuristic. <laughs> yeah, there's a Godzilla movie where they fight Monster Zero and the aliens. They have the cost, the 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 word. The, the, they have little things like that, like Star Trek. Uh, That's the yeah. only thing she's missing. She's missing the things like Star Trek, but but they kind of dress like that. And shit. So it looks really like retro in a way from the sixty aliens. This, yeah, I mean, like <laughs> the fifty, more than like the fifties. It's always like a a guy with no eyebrows. He's like, I am from the future, and I'm German too. Uh, I am alien too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks dope. I think Gazy's coming up with new styles for the future, Kike. And look at those fucking big ass fucking shoes. I was that about he's to wearing. say he's probably comfortable as fuck. It probably like like walking in like big like like pillows and shit, Kike. I don't know, man. I think that's a fucking alien or something. Those jeans are badass. It's like fucking Men in Black. He's it, there's an alien inside, fucking like hiding some fucking paws or something under those shoes or yeah. something. Well, they had a good time on the town, even though all these assholes were taking pictures of them without asking for permission. Fucking dicks. Let me make some money off of you. Fuck you. Making my way downtown. Yeah. Do, do, do. But yeah. it didn't matter because uh, they they went home. And uh, and Yeze, she asked, you know what? Because times are hard, Kiki, even for the rich. Times are hard. And so, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Yeze, sure. So, yeah, let's not eat out. Let's go home. We got plenty of food in the fridge, and you can, you're can you going to cook me some food, bitch. So he went home, <laughs> and he told her to keep her helmet on, but to strip down and cook him some, some, some fucking food. And so she, she listened. Yeah. She listened. And, uh, and this is them. Like, this is him eating... She's making him uh, some cookies and some, <laughs> some chicken fried steak and some shit. She's battering some steaks right there and shit. I don't know about that, man. Oh, and yeah. the way is she not cold at all at yeah. any time? No, Kike, they got the temperature to a nice 76 degrees. <laughs> I mean, yeah, her head Perfect is not cold for sure. That That's yeah. really covered. That's the only thing that we don't want to see her Not fucking care, head, right? But her pussy's always warm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Jesus it's Christ. Man. Why it. did... Oh, what? yeah. Cheers! I don't know why I'm doing this fucking podcast. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they had a good time, but, you know, they were done <laughs> eating, and Yacy says, you know what? Let's go out more on the town. We're yeah. done. Mm-hmm. And so they went out again. And- <laughs> this looks like fucking like Conan O'Brien's 1990s fucking like. And then we went to do this. And then this is the picture. <laughs> okay, this is this is exactly what happened. Kike, calm down, dude. Like, you, oh, you asshole. <laughs> and then Max wanted to fire some fireworks. Here you go. All right, Kike, are you done reminiscing your childhood? <laughs> yes, I am, actually. Right, good, you dumbass. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So they went out. Mm-hmm. And she's got yeah. big nipples. Uh, and she, yeah, she got very large nipples. That's, because that's the news. No, no fucking bra on. And you see her huge, uh, yeah. hanging breasts and her really big erected nipples. But everybody pointed yeah. out because Yeezy was, you know, just uh-huh. lounging. He he wore like you know just pajamas and shit, and that's what he woke up in. Uh, <laughs> but she was wearing something weird. That he wears the same thing that a homeless guy does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was wearing something weird, and they pointed mm-hmm. out somebody online. Yeah. That this thing that she's wearing is called a Packer gear. A Packer gear. And the Packer gear is like a dick cup that, uh, like you put your dick through there, like a like a dick ring. Oh, to make when it when look fucking, bigger. When you're no, when you're fucking. Put your dick oh. out there, and then it keeps it hard for you because it just, you know, it's like putting a dick ring on it. Oh, through it. Yeah, you put your dick and your balls through oh, that. And it tights gotcha. it, tights in it. Wait, Shit. the balls go through it too? Yeah, I mean, if you want to make it tighter, yeah, squeeze it in there. It'll stay harder mm. longer, Kike. You don't come for a long uh, time. Yeah. Did she not know? Yeah. Obviously, Once it starts turning purple, that. you gotta stop. You gotta you know, put them back up, you know. But don't worry, you keep keeping going there for a good five minutes before it starts turning purple, Kiki. But oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. she's wearing something underneath and it's making like okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Somebody somebody found an old tweet, Kiki. Uh-huh. Of Kanye's fucking uh old ex 
Amber Rose, and this was like years when they broke up. She put a tweet that says, oh, Kanye, are you mad? I'm not around to play in your asshole anymore. And she put oh. fingers in the booty ass bitch. And this chick is wearing fucking dick underwear. So people are saying she probably wears a strap on strap on and fucks Kanye in the ass. And, well. uh, and then that's probably why uh, Kanye is with this big titty hot as fuck chick because she's into freaky shit. <laughs> Okay, somebody that hot, Kike. She was, if you, there was a girl, not this girl. There's a girl that you like, and she was this hot, and she this wants, is... she wants to do freaky shit. Would you go ahead and do it, Kike, to be with her? Uh, no, no, bro. If she was that hot, Kike. She was that hot. I don't give a fuck. No, I don't give a fuck, literally. I, I, what the I don't fuck? know. Those nipples are really big, Kike. I you mean. did the most elaborate fucking, like, thing with the, a story to just say, like, you know, I think he's fucking him. <laughs> yeah, she's fucking him. But you know what? Those nipples are really big. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Well, she has big boobs. They're really big. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it says wet on the shirt. You notice yeah. that? I mean, nobody finds out, you know. As long as you don't make her walk around with the shit she fucks you in. Yeah, I mean, of course, but I mean, like, they fucking live like fucking, like, homeless people. It's like they don't own anything else. Calm down, Kiki. Yeah. Times are hard. They're trying to own, save some money. Let me just Biden's wear economy, this. It's like, bad right now. In. Even the rich and famous are struggling, Kiki. We need to we need to get this old man out of the office and the Democrats, Kiki. They want to keep people poor. They want to keep Americans <laughs> down. Yeah, I guess so. But anyways, yay, say, even after all of this sexy debauchery shit that he does every day with his wife, Young, yeah. half his age, he still finds a, a time to be a father. And he went to his son's basketball game, his son's Saint West. Mm -hmm. uh, and he showed up in a Escalade Land Rover or whatever with a license plate saying 666. And of course, Kim showed up with the other kids and separate. Uh, hers said, slut, slut, slut. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they showed up to celebrate or to see their little boy in the basketball game and shit. And of course, everyone is there taking pictures of them, ruining the shit for all the kids that are there trying to do something normal. Uh, well, we, that's what they get for being so fucking famous, bro. Well, I mean, it's the motherfuckers. They want the attention because like if I was going to like go, it, they like it. First of all, nobody would know that I would have a kid. I'll tell you like that. Nobody would know that I would be the kid's father and shit. You know, if I was like gonna be parent night, I'd be like, bring me the teacher. They would kidnap her and bring her to my house and sit her down in front of me. All right, bitch, that's my kid. You don't tell nobody. Now tell me how's it going over there. Is he smart yeah, or not? Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, they they yeah. love the attention. That's true. Like this is you're asking you're asking for ass. If you have money, you have money and power. You don't need to be going through this. This is like, let's take pictures so they see and that we're kids good wearing a fucking hoodie. And she's like, not really wearing it. She's like, <laughs> yeah, oh, not my boobs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My boobs are big too, just like his wife's. Ah ha. Yeah, that's the game they're playing. My boobs bring all the boys to the gun. Yeah, yeah. What do you think fuck of Kanye not giving a fuck showing up to his to his son's Saints uh, basketball game in a 666 Land Rover? Uh, It's a normal thing. Parents go watch their kids when they're playing their games, bro. Yeah, with Satan in their car. Well, yeah, I mean that's Kanye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it, it's not different from anyone else. Kanye, <laughs> is, it, it, Kanye is Kanye. So yeah, whatever. I mean, he's crazy, bro. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine would just say "son of man." That's it. What you're gonna yeah. say, Kike? Kike, or like some young. No, oh! just <laughs> just a license plate. Jesus, I wouldn't even fucking come in my own car just for people not to fucking follow me. And they fuck all that shit. I just come in their face. We don't have kids. And that's the end of the problem. But well, there right. you go. End of solution. We're moving on. We're moving on since we're talking about asses and shit. Uh -huh. We're moving on. And you better drink to this, Kike. Okay. To the thirst of the week. All right. <laughs> And this week, Kike, Tiffany Amber Thiessen 
Oh, Eddie wow. Kapowski from Saved by the Bell turned 50 years of age. And wow. she posted this drop dead gorgeous picture of herself in bed. Saying, I'm getting really old and shit. <laughs> now, yeah. I don't know about that. She was my crush growing up, man. I wanted to be white with blonde hair so I can get a girl like that. <laughs> Zach Boris, Kike. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I did. Hey, I did. She didn't end it up with that guy. No, but it doesn't matter. In the end, yeah, she did. They got married. I saw the movie that happened afterwards. Well, that's not real, bro. Uh, it was real to me, okay? Say by the bell, it was real to me. <laughs> you dumbass. Anyways, uh, I loved Kelly Kapowski, and I always wanted to be Zach Morris. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to be a yeah. blonde uh, with, with, you know, with blue eyes and white. I like the other face. one, though, better. Like the one with the curly hair. Jessica like Spanner, that. of course, you would identify with, with AC Slater. You want to be the buff guy, the jock and shit. You can't wait. Guess what? You're a nerd. Really? The guy is a fucking machine. He's Mexican, too, by the way. I, I know, I know, I know, but you're not him. Slater, Slater is he's a Mexican. Pure, he's Aztec, not like you, you fucking rapist. You came over here and, <laughs> and raped the Mexican you, European bro. conquistador. Son of a bitch. Yeah, there you go. Back to Kelly Kapowski, because she's hot as fuck and she's 50. <laughs> hey. Yeah, she, she is better is. than Jessica Spano in a square ass. But I will say one thing about Jessica Spano. At least she showed herself uh -huh. naked in strip tease. Or what is that movie called? That's true. Uh, hookers. Or what was that movie called? Was it strip tease or hookers? <laughs> Showgirls. 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 Show show yeah, show it is Showgirls. Yeah, yeah, right. Jessica Spano showed her. Showed her, her oh, she got hookers. Yeah. Hookers. Hookers. I mean, that's what they were. <laughs> they were fucking for money. <laughs> That was such a shitty movie, though. <laughs> it was good, though. What's that movie? Hey, Kiki, Hooker? we should fucking do it because that's a really shitty movie. We should do that it one. It's a really shitty movie. For our retrospect showgirls. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. But that's 2000 something, right? Uh, I don't know. I have, to, I have to go check. It's 2001. Or Anyways, uh, cheers to this hot as fuck old lady because this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she has kids and is married and shit. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. The guy was Look fucking her. her. Yeah, like doing be... these kinds of fucking photo shoots while their kids are. Yeah. The word of advice to whoever's fucking her: you better get her pregnant again. <laughs> she's she's trying to get away right now. Yeah, but yeah exactly. I would get her pregnant right <laughs> away, like in her sleep. When she's just like, get, just feed her a bunch of sleeping pills, and when she's asleep, fuck her and get her pregnant. Oh no! Yeah, 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 no, worry. no, you're married to her. You're married. It's okay. Anyways, you're married. No, you're married. I'm not gonna say the word, but it's still yeah. the R word. Uh, it is a movie mm -hmm. not. No, no, you're married. no, no. Uh, I do not simple. know. <laughs> do not do that. Anyway, don't worry. She's gonna get away. Tip the answer. If she was Kelly Kapowski, you would do it. Uh, no, then let me check. No, Kelly they Kapowski. haven't taken us off the air. You still. <laughs> All right. I think three people stopped watching us for sure. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even our own followers got offended. They're like, yeah. Fuck you, Kiki. We're moving on. Yeah. And finishing this off with the badass of the week. And this week, Kike, 50 year old disturbed frontman Dave Dramian or J Dryman. Okay. Some Eastern European white bald name that I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> yeah. The guy who goes wah wah. <laughs> Get down with the oh, sickness. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, that guy's badass. <laughs> um, he because they're old now. I yeah. guess he has kids too, or whatever. At least he got a couple of groupies pregnant. I would have for sure. I mean. Half a dozen. Okay. Every city and state. If I had an opportunity, for sure. Uh, and the money. Uh, but anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He is now being one of these fucking guys. You know, like, what's his name? The guy from Everlong. You know, you know, Foo Fighters. The guy. Uh, yeah. What about him? They grow. Now he's, yeah. he, he's this guy's like bringing parents and kids up on stage and fans and ass like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of pussy. If you ask me, uh, yeah, no, okay, it's kind of everyone's pussy. doing right. it. Like, oh, calm down. You bring up a fan. Oh, something special. Fuck you. All right, just take their money. Stop trying to be mm -hmm. special. Anyways, uh, but something cool did happen. I give him props, uh -huh. which is why he's the badass. I'm gonna play this yeah. video, and I'll let you all see it for yourselves. Are you ready, Kika? Yeah. Here we go. 
Three, two, one, play. What's your name, darling? Ava. Everybody say hello to Ava. Ava. What's your name, dear? My name is Chelsea. Everyone say hello to Chelsea. Woo! Ava, how old are you? Twelve. Ava's twelve and Chelsea is? I'm also twelve. So, I take it that you came to the Disturbed concert as opposed to the Taylor Swift concert means that your parents are raising you on rock and roll. Hey, don't forget, Taylor Swift still kicks ass. Yeah, okay. No, she does. Fuck you. Don't you boo her. You know what? Unfortunately. I will stand up and applaud any pop artist that gets up on stage and sings live and plays the guitar live in front of a whole group of fucking thousands of girls and guys, young fans. Don't talk shit about Taylor Swift. She's for real. And she's making sure that an entire generation of new music fans understand what it means to actually play music live. He just shut everyone up because the one thing that I took out of that when he said she is real, because I will say one thing out of a lot of the people right now that are famous, a lot of them are industry plants or mm -hmm. products that have been created by record companies. Taylor Swift was something that, yes, a record company found, but Taylor Swift writes taylor swift plays taylor swift does her shit and 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 you know what i'm saying she's an actual musician and she's an actual if you want to call it artist there are okay. no artists nowadays because a lot of them are just like here's a song someone made just sing it exactly the same way oh yeah the interpreter i'm the interpreter i'm gonna interpret this song i uh... I, I understand. There's a lot of people like that. People write songs left and right and get sold left and right, and someone else they're not. They're not the the, the girl. This this she wrote a bad song. No, she didn't. She fucked. Someone gave it to her and she just sang it. Someone had already wrote it. Someone, yeah. Someone who didn't sound as good as her, but the company found, bought it, and gave it to her. That's the way it works. I Taylor Swift be... is not like that. You know she. I don't know any fuck. Fucking Taylor Swift fucking music. Neither do I, like I but I know that that little girl writes her stuff. She always I mean, has if the guy's saying good things about her, that's okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about her. I don't even find her attractive at all. Like, that's a different realm that I am not even gonna be capable of fucking diving myself in. Like, that's just weird. You were not even talking about her fucking pussy. We were talking about the fucking oh, fact that she actually plays and writes music. Unlock, yeah. You know, there's a lot of pop artists that don't play any instruments. That, no, yeah, yeah. And don't That's what even I'm write music or write their own lyrics. That's what I'm saying. Is like I don't even know anything about her, but okay. I mean, like the thing is, like we don't even the the, the disturbed guy is the shit, right? He's yeah, fucking yeah. cool as fuck. But <clears throat> the he's point defending that her. He's saying, look, like the cunt just said, it. her music is ass. I've never heard. Yeah. But one Taylor Swift song, and the one, never heard the one song I heard is maybe ass. I heard something and I didn't even even know no, that. I heard word. only one, and the one song I heard is ass. But I'll tell you one thing, uh, the ass was actually made by her, and that's what this guy is saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what this guy is saying is that that's what he gives her. He will give anybody who actually creates their own shit, their who, own fucking shit, who yeah. is actually playing an instrument and writing their own music. And he says, she is real. And that was the main thing that he said. She goes, she is real. And that stood out to me because there's so many artists that are fed, even rappers that are fed to us. Oh, yeah. Out and that are gym. not even, no, they're not even real. They're, they're, they don't even write their own raps. Somebody else writes them for them, dude. And they sell no, them to us. No, well, that's just not. There's a, there's, no. there's out there. Uh, I think it's mm -hmm. Quentin Miller. I think. I might be yeah. saying it wrong, but there's this guy that say that that's Drake's ghostwriter, that Drake pays him to write all of his songs. I, I don't beginning. know about that. Oh. Uh, and it's out there, man. You can find music and reference tracks, and it's scary. 
when you go down rabbit holes like that and you start finding out that some artists are not real artists they're industry they're they're plants they're just yeah. a product they're not real they're not real and it's a uh, lot of them i just it's it's a music kind of thing man it's like i'm not gonna fucking be listening to fucking tyler so i'm not gonna fucking shitting i'm not shitting on her or at all either um, i'm just saying like that's just a different kind of thing man i don't fucking die myself into all right moving on to another badass of the week Mm -hmm. and apparently okamania struck again kike 70 year old okay brother yeah 70 year old hulk hogan and his new aerobic 49 year old wife were on the highway Mm -hmm. and they saw a car flip over in the Florida highway, Kiki, because it's Florida. All the kids are drunk and high. There's always, there's yeah. always flipping cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids <laughs> everywhere. are high and drunk or they're running from the cops. They just robbed a bank or some shit like that. Something was going down. Yeah. And this girl, this fucking high as fuck drunk girl flipped a car over. And this son of a bitch pulls over, turns over, and he stops halfway and stops all of traffic and he gets out. He rips his shirt. He goes over there and he flips the car over, and then the fucking uh of uh, uh what was it called the 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 balloon that pops out when you crash, what's it called? Yeah, it was it, it was squishing the little girl and she couldn't breathe or get out. Yeah, yeah. So, so the hoaxer the hoaxer took out a knife and punched the shit out of it. Fuck you, brother. Yeah, and then he took the little girl out of the car. And then yeah. the police came and, and, and thanked him for saving the day. Um, Hulk, uh, we forgive you now for oiling your daughter. Yeah. I'm going to say is that we're... <laughs> Everyone forgot about that now. Yeah, yeah. We're all, I'm going to say is that we're all very, very fucking lucky that this person wasn't a black. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we would have gunned him down. We thought he would make the actual accident. He would have. He would have kept driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, his wife, new wife, described it right here. She said, last night, after we left dinner in Tampa, we saw a car flipped in front of us. My husband, uh, he got out, and and, and him and some guy named Jaker asked. Uh, they went over there, and they, they got her out of the airbags <laughs> and shit. And, uh, and she was just scared. And then Hulk Hogan also tweeted, and he said, the crazy part about it is that her car flipped without and then and without a knife to puncture the airbags. And I got my Christian ballpoint pen because he's a Christian now. Yeah, brother. And he used the pen because Jesus gave him that pen and he used it to punch the airbags. And he says, a man. Yeah. Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Like, uh, God told me that ballpoint. I can pierce that through. Yeah, and would you, right if you saw a car flip, would you have just kept on, on the highway driving uh-huh. 60 miles an hour? The car in front uh-huh. of you flips over. Would you have pulled over? Oh, fuck no. All right, good, good. No, 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 I'll keep driving. I'll be like, I didn't see anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Kiki, don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm sorry, God. Well, God, God bless the whole Kogans out there that are, are, are out there saving people that, that are high and drunk driving on the highway. It's probably high in character. Yeah, the lady. The I lady. can still do this. God damn it. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to see people. He did. He, can, he saved that girl. She was going to die and suffocate with the air back. He can. <laughs> I can only imagine him like going like going with the like with a fucking like air back. <laughs> <laughs> well, he used the pen. He used the Christian yeah, pen. Yeah, yeah, Jesus he, pen. He, 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 did, he did both. He did was both. blessed by Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think he likes blacks now that he's a Christian? <laughs> he didn't like blacks? No, he didn't. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. There was a oh, tape where him and another friend were fucking a chick, a uh, sex tape. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we go leaked. back. Uh-huh. And he was saying the N-word a lot, and not in a nice way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a hard N, a hard N. Yeah. A hard With a, whole, a hard R, too. Yeah, hard R, hard N. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty bad. He's a racist. 
Christ. But now he's a Christian. He's changed his way, and he's yeah. got a hot wife, younger than I'm half his age. Man, brother, half his age. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well. Anyways, I'm glad that the Hulkster saved a life, and that maybe Christ changed several lives that <laughs> night. You never know. You never know, Kiki. You never know, you man. No. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're done with the weekly pop culture breakdown. Cheers! Cheers, bro. Alright, I'm just gonna get another fucking beer. Right. Uh, there we go. Cheers! Cheers! Alright, we're done with the fucking ass. Let's get into the more ass, uh, and let's get into the weekly comic book uh, nerd shit. Yeah. Alright. And we're gonna start with some uh, good news, I guess. Okay. Guess what? I like that. Uh-huh. Godzilla! I might mean minus one! The Gogeta! Yeah, yeah. Minus one! Minus zero, uno! Yeah. Nah, no, no, I don't uh, even know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is well on his way, you know, to get reach a hundred million dollars worldwide. God damn! On, on a ten million dollar budget, those motherfuckers earned a lot of money, bro. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Whew. I'm uh, glad for them. But there is a controversy coming out. Kiki. What is it? What happened now? Apparently, this movie only had. 35 total people, visual effects artists working on the film. And, Wait. hang on. All right. This is a shock to everybody in Lucas, in Marvel, and <laughs> Disney, and all the Wettas, and all the visual effects artists in, in the USA, the Saggots, and the Wagons. Mm -hmm. They're shocked because they make them work 10 hours a day. Six days a week. Those communist slave drivers, they didn't even give them the option to have Thursdays off if they had a mental health day. <laughs> uh, well, it's not even communist. Co no wonder the, communist. the movie came out fucking so good. They were slave driving them. Work fucking 45 hours a week. Six days a week, bitches. Those slave drivers, that's horrible. It's their culture. They they work that much. I I I mean, like, come on, we're not that far from that fucking branch, man. Like, I work a lot too. Those pussies over there in Hollywood are complaining because they want to work twenty hours a week, take two and a half years to do a visual effects for one movie. Fuck you. <laughs> this is what it's like in the real world, where you work ten hours a day instead of eight. You pussies. But at the same time. Japan has really good fucking like convenient things that they have for themselves. Like, you know, like in the workplace, they have fucking food and snacks and they can fucking go do yoga and shit. Like, it's good fucking working fucking things. And then when they say, oh, they spend 10 hours at work, that's, uh, that's illogical. Bro, like, I mean, like, you don't work at work. You're just fucking talking shit. And then you think you're fucking like working. Fuck yeah, you, bro. You don't work. If you work, no. Fucking Black Panther, what it'll look like ass. You know that fight scene in Black I, Panther looked like ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then the train. If you actually <laughs> worked instead of just bullshitting, talking about, did you hear what Trump said on the news? Instead of bullshitting like that and actually doing <laughs> your job, we wouldn't have gotten the 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 plastic babies and the flash that we got. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but a bunch of pussies were too worried about some Antifa ass on the news instead of doing their jobs. Mm. That's really what's going on. That's really what's going on. There's a bunch of pussies now in the workplace. I mean, yeah, they, 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 yeah. there's a lot of them. A lot, a lot of, of them. A lot of them. The whole generation what? now has grown up. A pussification of America has grown up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The more I listen to you, the more I like to drink, man. That's a problem, bro. But I'm more you might make start making sense to you. I, I don't know about that. I just I'm like, fuck, let me drink some more. You know it's true. Yeah. Mm. What do you think about these guys working hard and their efforts paying it's it, it, it's thirty five people made this amazing movie. 
We're yeah. over here. They outsource three or four studios, and they still give us ass for the final product. You can. Well, the thing is, like, they're passionate about what they're working for, and I'm pretty sure it was like just a small. Obviously, it was a small production yeah, fucking company. I can, that totally did see, this. I can totally see what you're saying. I can totally see a lesbian over there at Lucas Bang. You know, hey, you know what? I don't care about Indiana Jones. I'm gonna make him look shitty. I didn't say that, by the way. You're right. I fucking you're I, right. Nope. Uh, you do not see totally at all what I'm saying. Uh, oh, no. Uh, but I, I, all I'm saying is, like, these people actually were passionate about what they were working, and they were eager to fucking work a little bit more than the average people to make it look good, and they, they did. They were successful at it. And then that's what they did. That was amazing because they had no fucking like people that were like talking under like over them. And, you know, like that's they did a great job, man. And that's now why they're successful. Yeah. Yeah. I like this movie. I can't wait till it comes out dubbed with William Dafoe, Melanie Griffins, <laughs> uh, Brittany. No, no, no. What was her name? Michelle Williams. Yeah. Uh, get all the good, the good voice actors, uh, fucking Morgan Freeman. All of them come out in this dub version of this movie. It'll be a hit when it was American dub. That's what I'm waiting for. But it's a good movie. You know, I don't think we're going to get that at all because it's already successful as it is. No, no, no. It'll be more successful when they dub it. (laughs) When we don't have to read it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Good for the dumb people. But dumb Americans deserve. You need the money from the dumb Americans. Right? (laughs) And they'll take it. They'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. I agreed to do this because it was amazing. I wanted to be the voice for Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he did Godzilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fucking Pete Davidson did that crazy guy. The the the, the guy is like you know in the boat. The guy, this, the funny guy, the dumb guy. Yeah, that's Pete Davidson. <laughs> He'll be the comic relief for the movie. Oh, yeah. look, a lizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fucked. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're fucked. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be there. It'll be there. Anyway, so moving on, Kike. All right, good. Moving on to some ass. You're gonna jizz all over. Ooh, I and hope so. Another, then Ghostbusters. Are frozen. Oh, I will yeah. come. <laughs> the winter is coming. Game of Thrones yeah. Part Four, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Continuation of the good Ghostbusters without any lesbians or women in it. Uh, instead of a bunch of kids. <laughs> okay. Yeah, instead of a bunch of kids. But uh, uh, they showed the first image on the Empire magazine, and it's Slimer, uh-huh. and he finally got a good look. Yep. And this, I told, I told you, this is Slimer. This uh, is how he looks. This wow! looks like, yeah, yeah that's this him. looks like the very first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, looks yeah, like it, the it, very first one. I never, for a second, there doubted them at all. I saw the other ones. They didn't look like him. It didn't. <laughs> he was too woke. He was really woke in the picture they were showing. I'm, I'm this is telling perfect. you. And there's ass and trash all behind him that he's been eating and shitting all over. You see oh, that? my God. I you love see that? that. That's a mountain of ass and trash. You, you see they build a trail around the thing so he can go to the fucking thing so he can, like, uh, he, get into it. He's just been shitting there and eating and shitting. Yeah. Oh, and, my God. That's, that, that looks like look, me on a weekend. The little girl... You only see the, her head, but she already threw the trap right in front of him. Oh, yeah, you're right. She yeah. threw the trap right in front of him, and she's going to fire at him. I want him to, I want them to keep him as a pet in the movie. Yes. Yes. That's what I want. You. Like, after they oh, catch him, have... keep him yeah. as a pet and hang out with us and let's go on adventures and shit. Like, nah, I don't want him to, like, oh, we caught him. Nah, that's it. There's no more Slimer. Maybe Cameo, he escapes again. That's it. No, 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 no. He needs to talk and be a member of the fucking family. <laughs> Do the voice, Dude. Kike. Yeah, there yeah, you go. That's what yeah, we need. Yeah. That's what we fucking need. Yeah. Yeah, we... Fuck. I, I'm i going really in strong on this, but... Yeah, they need to do the real Ghostbusters kind of fucking Gozer thing. Yeah. I, I, I want that, bro. We, yeah, we want fucking Slimer, the real dumb Slimer, the, the fucking... I can't say the R word, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> No, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Apparently, it's not, it's not allowed. It's not, not allowed. Not but anymore. but it, uh, it is. It, we are gonna have Slimer like that. Yeah, yeah. I that's hope what so. We want. But here's another picture of the Empire magazine, <laughs> and they showed the kids, and they're all like fucking seven years older. They're fucking huge. Can you get all of them? 
What? Right? They fuck. They that How long has that doesn't... buy from the first one? Five years, I think. That's insane. In five years, bro. Is this little girl legal already? The little black girl? Oh, I don't even want to go into that. We'll find that. out right now before we say. She looks like else. the girl from Godzilla, bro. She does, it's but probably she's probably the same. It's not fucking chick. Okay, it's good. Not because uh, I'm gonna. I was already younger. hating her. Uh, but okay. if you go find out if, she, how if she, she'll realize that <laughs> she's not before we yeah. move on with the conversation find out how yeah. old she is he can't before you No, i'm it. not gonna do that i'm not gonna fucking like find out how Kike. old the fuck i will say one thing you get uh-huh they replaced the little asian boy with a white kid <laughs> that's the same guy no it's I not think. that's a white kid <laughs> or from hawaii no Kike, that's a white little boy <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's okay. a different. Uh, the uh, other dude, kid uh, yeah. was Asian and yellow. This is a white kid, period. You're and he's just, not Asian. Okay. This kid All is right. not Asian, Kiki. This you're is a just like going. Okay, the you're, actors, Kiki. You are going through your fucking like tone skin and going downwards. That's I mean, obviously that's the same fucking kid. He's just grown up. He grew up, bro. Is that what happened to you? You used to be like Mexican, and then you, when you grew up, you turned white. <laughs> I mean, I was agreeing for a fucking Mormon there, but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it now. He's a European like you. He's he's a European Asian. I see. Uh, uh, we, yeah. we like you're a Mexican it, European Mexican. He's a European Asian from it, over there. It, <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's a mongoloid. Yeah, He's a mongoloid. That's no, a what the fuck are you talking about? No. Genghis Khan over there from mongoloids. Okay, that's different. Okay. Um yeah, 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 yeah. Ev- what... evolution. We 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 change, like, change colors. We change colors. He's a white Asian. Just like he is a white Mexican. <laughs> oh my god. I understand. I... All right, fine. It's the same kid, except now he's more white. When he goes And up. therefore I drink some more. Hey, that other kid's fucking uh Finn, Wolf, or whatever his name yeah. is. He's, he's looking more like Kramer, right? He's well, a little bit, but he's also looking like Chow Mein. <laughs> Chow Mein, like the fucking like Timothy Chow dish. Mein. Oh, oh, Ch- Chow Mein. Yeah, 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 Chow Mein, whatever. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like the Asian fucking dish. He looks like Chow Mein. No, bro. Hey, who is this Egon in the middle? Nah, it's not him. I Let's know it's not. not Egon, but who the fuck does he? Who the fuck? He even has a tag with his name on, like he's part of the team, Kike. Is this the new Egon they're going to have? Oh my god, you might be right. Why does he you have a tag? And I don't know who he is. He looks like Conan O'Brien. He has a pompadour fucking like haircut, too. King god, and he Kike. might be that guy, actually. He better be funny, because if he's not, fuck. This. Yeah, you're right. Look, the little girl has a name tag, too, so she's part of the team already. And if this guy has a name tag, that means he's part of the team. He's going to be a Ghostbusters, Kike? Kike. Oh. The director said, you're going to fucking come all over everything right now. <laughs> dire- what are you yes, talking yes, about, yes, man? Get ready. The no. director, yes, get ready. Pull your dick out. Come on, get ready. No. The director said, this movie took a lot of inspiration. From the real Ghostbusters cartoon. I mean, yeah. I mean, look, look at the Asian kid in his shirt. Look at his shirt. He has a pink shirt with fucking yellow fucking slaps and shit. No, that's fucking nineties as what fuck. What if bro. this the this is the Egon from the real Ghostbusters? Um, you think he's gonna talk like Egon and shit? Like, you think he's gonna do that? I hope. I mean, if he if it is. I don't know. I, I'm a little conflicted, man. Because remember, Kumanjan is going to be in this too? Kumail Nanjiani. There you go. That guy is going to be in this too? And that other fat oh, son yeah. of a bitch, that nerd. What's his name? Patterson or whatever. Pa- oh, Patterson. Uh... <laughs> Patty. Patty Patterson. Don't. Don't. Uh, yeah, I, I, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a disservice to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I forgot his name. Uh, pe- 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 ah, fuck. Patterson. Os- Osvaldo. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot his name. No. Os- Osvaldo. No. <laughs> Patty Patterson. Osvaldo. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. No. That fat motherfucker who talks about Star Wars and, and, and combining it with oh, the Marvel oh. Universe. Son of a bitch. Yeah. He thinks he's better yeah. than everybody because he's a nerd. Fuck you, Kike. You and him <laughs> play Dungeons and Dragons together, you pussies. <laughs> Oswald. Patton Oswald. God there dang go. it. I remember. Yeah. Oswald. Oswald. Yeah. Son of a bitchy nerds. Yeah, he anyways. has a fucking evil fucking last name. Oswald. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Patton Oswald. They're in yeah. this. They could be the real yeah. Ghostbusters along with this Egon. Kike. <sighs> Think about it. Oswald is the 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 one with the orange hair. Yeah. The Punjami is what was Ray stance. You know the asshole. <laughs> the asshole. Okay. Yeah. And this guy. This um, guy is the fucking uh, Egon. I mean, it could work. It could work. They, they don't have. A, they don't have a black guy it. because they don't need one. It's not that kind of movie. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, we can get there. I mean, no, no, culture. No, maybe in the sequel, not for this one. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, we got another. The body's like, like the original movie. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. in the, in the, okay, sequel, okay. in the sequel. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, okay. The best picture to me in that Empire mm-hmm. Magazine show. All the old guys suited up, including Janine. Oh, my God. She's running fucking... away. She's still cute as fuck, bro. And even Bill Murray looks like he's having fun. Bill Murray is like, oh, yeah, no, he, he looks once, like he's hitting his pants. Yeah, he's 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 actually trying in a movie. <laughs> yeah, he's actually trying for once. I'm too old for this. I'm gonna make it again. This is so cool, and I wish Ramis was there. Oh, wow, you fucking did a turnaround, didn't you? This is you the did be- a U-turn. That's why I said it's the best picture they showed because look at this. This is like nostalgia. The original shit. One hundred percent at its best, and the perfect shot to give us. I hope they show this in the trailer. All of them running away like this. They're scared. I don't care, but they should show this at the end. All of them running like this. It would be badass. And I miss Ramy's man. He would look so cool. Egon running with them. Oh, old and fat. That, that was my oh, favorite fat, fucking character, you know? bro. He would have been fat. He, he would have been really fat. If he he would have been. I mean, he was a tall guy. Really? I, fat. I mean, bigger, bigger than fucking Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. way bigger than all of them. I mean, your trivia to him is not that good anymore. <laughs> he would have looked like Chris Farley in real life. All right. Calm down. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, that's pretty cool, Kike. But you know what? This is kind of insulting, Kike. Insulting in what way? Because the one character that should have been in this, the main guy, Louis Rick Moranis, is not in this oh, or included in this. Kike. I know. Remember? He's the one that saved everybody in part two. Yeah. Yeah. Every, he, he shot and then Find everybody's... the gatekeeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But at the end, he yeah. showed up, and then he he shot the thing, and then the the thing broke, and everybody's like, "Yeah!" And they, they everybody's like, "He did it." I mean, he was really the guys inside, but everybody <laughs> thought he was the hero. I was like, "That was badass." Not only that, but he had sex with that fucking uh, redhead chick in front of the babies asleep, and these guys were fucking. Ah! Dude, Rick Moranis, that would be the greatest fucking comeback. In time, bro. Like in Hollywood. of all time, bro. In yes. Hollywood. It's a damn shame. That would have been amazing. It's a damn shame that he found out about all these molestations and pornographies yeah, and, yeah. and children and uh, disgustingness that Hollywood has and comes with. This uh, is what happens in Hollywood since I left from 1990 in Shrani. No, no, Kiki. He found out back then, which is why he quit Hollywood. Oh, there you go. That's a bigger plot right there. No, it's it's the truth. He yeah. once you're in Hollywood, you eventually you're gonna find out the truth, and it's either you join in and have fun, mm-hmm. or you keep your mouth shut and you don't die. Yeah, you don't know what the Hollywood is until you're an actress. Yeah, and it usually involves people underage. Oh, okay. It does. Right. It does. Kiki. Unfortunately, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where we're going with this, but, yeah, but okay. Well, anyways, we're moving on. That's where we're going with this. Thank you, you dumbass. Anyways, yo, 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 yo. Um, let's move on, Kiki. Because guess what? Mm-hmm. What if season three? 
got our leaked images of it already. Uh -huh. And uh, this might be the same episode, I think. Okay. This might be, what if uh, the Red Guardian found Bucky, the Winter Soldier? This is like, mm -hmm. if instead of Captain America and instead of Captain Britain, Aleski, you know, the Red Guardian from Russia, he's the Captain America. Mm -hmm. And when he goes and finds Bucky, everyone starts chasing them. The Avengers, and the Avengers is Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau, Sam Wilson, the black, out of shape, gut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't say the black. Come on, man. Well, I mean, he's not white, Kike. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's You may just... say brown. He's not Mexican or Indian. I'm fucking describing. Uh... That replacement of yeah, Captain America. You can yeah, say that. There's, when there's two Captain Americas, you have uh -huh. to give a description now of the difference: the white Captain uh -huh. America or the black Captain America. I am talking about the black Captain America for the people that don't know who the fuck Sam Wilson is. Yeah. I would have said the original or the fucking replacement. And some people don't know what color skins they are, so I have to tell them. Okay, all right, good. I I guess I don't know. And uh, I don't think it, I don't think that's Hank. Actually, that's not Scott Lang. I think that's Hank Pym in the background. I think oh. that's still him. He might be a little older, younger. I don't know, man. He looks kind of. Yeah, I, I guess so. But the crazy part is that Sam Wilson and Captain Marvel have mechas. Oh yeah. I saw that too, and it was so weird. It is very weird. And cool as fuck too, by the way. It is cool. I like the. I mean, like I said, the art style is cool and shit. I mean, <laughs> look, I the first, like we said, the first season was great. The second season, yeah, there's maybe a, mm. a, one or two episodes. Literally one or two. That's it. Uh, maybe just one. Maybe one. Yeah, maybe one or two. To me, maybe one or two. Uh, but I'll put it like this. This se third season better be better. This looks cool. I mean, it does. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It looks cool as fuck. I'm interested to know what the fuck's going on here. Yeah. Uh, I always give it up to their art style. It's got, it's, it's really good. I think this one looks less. What is it? Like when you're, it looks drawn, like cell shading, like the outlines less than in the other ones. That were more well, this is basically like just like they've been doing just a lot of 3D animation. It doesn't look that good, honestly. It doesn't look it doesn't flow the same way because their animation is just like fucking 24 frames per second or something like that. Because it's just I don't not even know what that animation. means. It it's it's the way they're doing fucking animation. It's just like 3D animation. It's not the real. How many 2D frames animation. is the person that draws page by page? Usually they do it like in in threes and fours, but like whenever they do this kind of stuff, like they, it is just like CGI, and and then they can do it in twenty four frames or sixty frames, and and it looks more when there's more fluidity, and that means it's not real fucking like two D animation. Okay, well for whoever understood that, fuck you um, and fuck you too, Kike, for being nerds. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck your 24s and 30s and ass you were saying. We're going to move on. All right. Guess what, Kike? Mm, I guess I don't know. It was Agatha all along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, there's a new rumor, Kike. Yeah. The rumor is saying that we're finally going to get an explanation mm -hmm. as to whether or not Wanda is still alive. On this show. Chris, how long ago did Wanda come out? <laughs> uh, this was right before COVID, I think, or during COVID. I remember. It was February. Uh, uh, before So COVID. three years. Yeah, four years, maybe. Three, 2021. Years. That's Yeah, that's three years. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Chris. So we're finding an explanation if this little bitch with the big titties. Finally. If she's alive or not. And mm. uh, and here is the rumored explanation, and I'm not playing. Okay. I know. We're going to make it look like it's us fucking around, because that's what we do. <laughs> okay. But I promise you, this is the exact 
thing they're saying will be the explanation of this show. There will be, I don't know, some gay, lesbian, some non-binary character, okay. not Kiki, no, some fucking, some fucking okay. transgender character of some sorts who identifies as something that they weren't born as. It's gonna be something like that. A character of some yeah. sorts, a character of some sorts is going to ask Agatha, "Is Wanda still alive?" The same question we've all been asking. And Agatha is going to reply to this non-binary, confused fucking person. She's going to tell this person. If you want straight answers, ask a straight witch. Because I'm a lesbian bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the explanation about it, whether Wanda's alive or not, Kike. In the MCU. <laughs> That's the That's kind of show... show. We're going to be reviewing. Wow. Get okay. Ready. Well, I mean, like, they're, they're just, like, throwing everything out the window, then. Like, everything. Like, because no show out there like, that's coming out of fucking, like, Disney is good anymore. Now, I, if this comes out and that comes out. I told you this show was going to be gays, lesbians, non-binaries, transgenders, confused, mental. Patient. I mean, Things I know you're nature. saying that. Things of that nature. It was. It was said from the beginning. There's going to be lesbianisms from the beginning. They're all lesbians and orgies and confused and gays and sexual. I don't understand what's going on. The whole cast. I, the whole cast. Yeah. It's fucked up. This is fucked up. Like, I mean, like, this is like, okay, go back. Maybe like seven years from now and think about this you think disney was gonna show this kind of stuff on disney like anything that disney would be like oh yeah we're gonna fucking show this of course not because yeah. seven years ago joe biden was a president <laughs> and his brother right, wasn't abusing his fucking hey. piece taking right. pictures with her in large rich there was Nothing okay to with do it. with fucking Disney, but okay. No, no, no. It's all related because that's kind of like, what is it? People emulate the, 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 the fucking people that are in control or in power and shit. And so people are just doing what Joe Biden does. That's all. Forget things and be a dumbass? Is that what you're saying? They're molesting and shit. I don't know. Keep it. Uh, okay, and eh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm All right. Mm -hmm. Anyways, moving on. Just getting out of control here, like always. Mm -hmm. Want to apologize to everybody for the kind of stuff that is said that probably isn't meant to be said. But somehow, it's said anyways. And then God bless the fact that they ain't even five people watching this because I'm pretty sure we would have been banned already. Uh, God bless you who don't watch this. Anyways. <laughs> Let's move on, Kike. By the more. way, we went from five to three people watching. <laughs> by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's move on, Kike. <laughs> you idiot. Dude, some more ass. <laughs> it's just right. some ass. That's just horrible. Oh. But you're going to love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no fucking sense, but okay. <laughs> Nothing does nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Daredevil born again. Apparently has begun reshooting now. And we had an interview with Vicente de Onofrio. Uh-huh. And he finally gave an explanation as to okay. why he looks fat. As Wilson Fisk, and yet he's not fat because he's a vegan now and he doesn't eat meat and doesn't drink milk or cheese or none of that shit or any animals or fish or any hurts any bean. He only eats beans and fucking lettuce. Just beans and lettuce. All right? That's all. <laughs> leave him alone, Kike. That's his choice. I'm trying to fucking leave him alone, but you try to mock him. No, no, that's his choice. I only eat. Beans and lettuce. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he gave an explanation. And uh, here's a, a bit of the interview here for you. <laughs> he says, 
And these are direct quotes from him, Kike. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I mean, the, the minute you start defending your fucking shit, I'm like kind of doubting the stuff no, that you're no, posting. No, this is him. Look, uh, this is right here. Right, I'm right. reading it just like it says. The quote, open quotations, not me. That's why yeah. I said to say open quotations. I love, you know what? I'm going to let you read it in fifth. <laughs> this fucking yes. guy fucking so, you, so you know it's official. Do it in Fisk's voice. I love new kinds of way that they can actually construct the muscle fat suits that I have to wear. I think they finally work and feel right and good. That helps a lot because it's not the healthiest thing in the world to keep putting weight on and taking off, off again. Yeah. That was good, Kiki. I know you were not prepared. But that was pretty good. I wasn't good. prepared. Yeah, that was pretty know. good. It went drunk was gonna bark right now. <laughs> yeah, we are and really fucked up right now. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, Kiki, it's a fat suit he's wearing. Mm-hmm. Do you think they add prosthetics on his neck? Uh... N- I don't even know, man. I think they have to a little bit because his neck is skinny, bro. Uh, he has a big uh, head, which covers for it. The thing is, he's not hes not fucking thin. The guy's big. He's tall. No, but he's half. <sighs> but look, look, the one the one on the right is him being fat and the one on the left. I know, is, I know, I know. He's like, half he's, the he's man so he used to be, even the cheeks. But <laughs> yeah. But the one, Echo, the one we saw in Echo, the one we saw in Echo was big, and that yeah. one was the reshoots with him skinny. So they made him look. I think he even looked bigger than than Hawkeye. I think he did look really <sighs> big in Echo. Man. I think he looked bigger. I think he looked fatter. I was just like, how did they no, do it? No, you, you need I was to go wondering. back to Daredevil, bro. Go back to Daredevil. The Daredevil fucking like scenes of him being him. It's just like. Way better, bro. In, 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 in Echo, it was it was well done. It was well done. I'm talking I'm about how good. fat he was, not his That's acting. That's what I'm saying. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, he looks huge, bro, in Daredevil. You don't remember how he looked in Daredevil, bro? Oh, yeah, he looked yeah. huge, bro. Huge. And, 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 like, yeah, nowadays, like, you see him and you're like, yeah, whatever. And then and, and the fact that he's not doing the fucking same thing. And I'm just adding to this because, yeah, you brought it up. Like, in Echo, he didn't. Is He wasn't the same fucking, like, bad guy. He wasn't. No. He wasn't. But anyways, wasn't. we got more spoilers for Daredevil Born Again besides this fat. No, I'm sorry. This skinny son of a bald son of a bitch. Um, Bullseye. Is gonna be added into the show. Kevin Feige's gonna put him in, and he's gonna have the same guy who played Bullseye in season three to come back and be Bullseye. And everyone's speculating he's gonna give him finally comic accurate costume. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think Feige will go that route and do comic accurate. <laughs> we never even got to see him in. Oh, he was pretending to be Daredevil. You you saw that season? Yeah, yeah. It was badass. Yeah. Anything he grabbed, he was just throwing it and being perfect at it. Pencils, but this is this is throwing. what ah oh, man, this is what fucking pisses me off. Because whenever someone comes out out of their fucking like nerdy fucking cage, their own room, and starts fucking writing and doing things. It comes out fucking amazing. And Kevin Feige did some crazy cool things. I mean, and Kevin Feige wasn't involved in the fucking like Daredevil fucking stuff. No, he did just believe he, it. He, he didn't wasn't involved in Netflix. I mean, he didn't write. Any yeah, yeah. Netflix. Obviously, not, none of this stuff was Kevin Feige. Some other fucking guy did this. Some he's other people did this. it because he's like, I got to make yeah. it. Yeah, it's, it's, you need to think about it like. Oh, Coca Cola fucking bought another fucking Jamaica or Jamaica fucking like drink that we drink as kids. So you wouldn't and, want and, to and, see this guy in a fucking 
real cost. This is what this is what I'm saying. Is what I'm saying is like Kim and Feige is uh, he's no longer the same fucking guy that did a fucking movie that we used to love, bro. Kevin Feige is the guy who is in charge of things that is overlooking everything. And he makes bad decisions because he's not there in the fucking gist of it. And and now that there's this one other fucking thing, people are going to criticize the shit out of it because we, <laughs> we, we saw this fucking guy in another fucking shit and it sucked. So now he's bringing him back and everyone's like, oh, it's going to suck now, right? Well, yeah, it, it, it might be. If he's gonna be the same fucking guy who's overlooking everything, bro, I, I don't want Kevin Feige to be overlooking things. I want Kevin Feige doing a movie. Go back and do a movie, bro. Well, like, we, we said last week that Feige's first thing was to bring back Karen and Foggy because they were not even in the show. They were gonna be killed off screen in the other version. So yeah. Feige but, wants to reshoot them back in the show. Yeah. And everyone's saying, wow, what if Feige does what it's in the comic books? And the comic books is crazy because Bullseye kills Karen. Yeah. But Karen's comic book, which I don't think they're going to do. Karen's mm -hmm. comic book arc is fucked up. She gets addicted to heroin and then starts doing pornography and gets AIDS. <laughs> oh, shit. And then she gets AIDS, <laughs> but she doesn't really have AIDS. Mysterio lies to her so she can fucking think she has AIDS. It's a fucked up fucking story. It is. So, okay, yeah. That's but they're not going to do all this shit. I no, think of course that, not. It's Disney. But I think she... Weird. Yeah, but I think Bullseye yeah. will kill her the way... And eventually, I mean, eventually she does die in the fucking... Maybe Bullseye kills her here. Uh... We'll see, man. I, I, I just want a this good action. Hot, Kike, remember her? I know, I know, I know. Oh, here we go. Kiki is angry about something. What are you mad about? I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not angry about anything. I'm just saying, like, I know she's hot. I know she's hot. All right, all right. I'm sorry. But she the, is the, 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 blonde the thing and is... blue-eyed. I thought you'd be interested in draconians. Fuck you, bro. I'm not blonde. Uh, the no, thing no, is, she like, is blonde oh, and blue eyed. Okay, I yeah. thought she'd be, you'd be interested in blah, blue eyed Cody. No, fuck no. I no, like, I mean, I wish like... she has a pretty pink pussy. I'm just saying. <laughs> I like brunettes, bro. bro she likes the I... black pussy. No, I like it every once in a while, too, but black meat's good, too. Bro. Uh... <laughs> it's all pink, anyways. <laughs> On the inside. It, it, yeah, it it's is. what's inside yeah. that counts. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying, bro. All right, well, let me move on then. Guess what? Mother we have some videos. Him, we have some videos of the fucking Daredevil. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Matt Murdock, because they're filming already, has yeah. filming, and they found that he was right outside, and it says Nelson, Murdock, and Paige, attorneys of law. So they are continuation from Daredevil, mm. where at the end, they all started a practice together, all three of them. I, I I mean yeah. So I mean that makes sense. Yeah. And we see uh what's his name? Charlie Cox being fucking Matt Murdock Kike. And guess what, Kike? They fucked up really Feige's fucked up really <laughs> fucking okay. bad. This is gonna suck. You're right, Kike. You're right about everything after seeing this video right here. <laughs> okay. They're taking too long. How long has it been since Daredevil? A fucking show. I uh, didn't I say like fucking five years or something like that. It's been a long five, time, Kike. It's been a while, bro. I lived over there where you lived, and you weren't even living <laughs> there, and you weren't even living there no. yet. No, I wasn't here yeah. yet. You weren't even living there yet. And that's when Daredevil mm -hmm. came out. That's a long time ago. God dang it, bro! Yeah. And how long ago did he come out in Spider Man? Remember for a little cameo? Oh my god, when he that fucking a... holds the brick. Yeah. How long I'm ago a was really that? Good lawyer. That's yeah. a lot. Five years ago, at least. Fuck. We're, I can. I. I now, can feel myself fucking aging right now. Look at him. He's fucking going bald. He's looking like Kevin <laughs> Spacey in real life, Kike. <laughs> They're taking too damn long to to do this. Their productions. Are they gonna CGI hair on him in the next movie or what? No fucking clue. And then her thing. Why is he looking? He's supposed to be blind. He's forgetting how to act. You're supposed to be blind, you idiot. <laughs> I mean, um, 
it's between scenes, I guess. I no, know. no, no. That's they say action. He's <laughs> fucking around. He's fucked up. A- action is like what? Excuse me. Um. Bitch. I. Oh, God damn it, man. Can I? I can't defend this, bro. No, I he cannot. looks old. He looks like Kevin Spacey. And Kevin Spacey's old <laughs> as fuck. And he molested children. Boys? Two little boys. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, Anthony that Rapp, when he was 14, bitch. grabbed his ass, tried to take his pants off and shit upstairs. And fucking when he was 26 and shit. Horrendous. Horrendous. Really fucked up shit. He showed his mm-hmm. tried to grab some fucking driver's dick while he's driving to the airport and shit, trying to masturbate him. Not cool if someone does that to you. Yes, yes. I'm just letting you know. If you didn't know, invite, that's bad. Inv- invite another young little boy, prospecting little boy over here to eat some pizza no. and shit, and got him drunk and shit, started sucking up his dick when he woke up. That is horrendous. Allegations and we might be began. off. Allegations that were all proven to be false and lies in an innocent in court. All right. We're still on air. We don't earn any money on YouTube, but we're still on air. Well, we got more ass. Because guess what? Uh-huh. We got more video skike from yeah. Daredevil. And none other wow. than the White Tiger Kike. Who's the White Tiger? White Tiger is some fucking guy dressed in white that looks like a tiger and shit. <laughs> okay, wow. And he knows karate. Thanks for the explanation. I, mean, I could have deduced that. Well, I guess a good thing. I just didn't know you were that smart yeah. or not. Okay. Who are not? Now you know. The guy <laughs> Thank you. Pretend that he looks like Black Panther, but he's all in white uh-huh. and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what's crazy is that originally this was in the first series that Feige says we're reshooting everything. The first series was that Matt Murdock, Foggy, and Karen got killed by the Kingpin off screen. And from the beginning, <laughs> Matt Murdock was not Daredevil. And Matt Murdock would not be Daredevil for fucking uh, three, four episodes. And until the fifth episode, he would suit up to be Daredevil. And during those episodes, the White Tiger gets caught and he goes to court. And Matt is defending him. And this is what this is supposed to be. But Feige is changing it. Because he doesn't want whatever the story used to be. He's trying to tie it into his MCU shit. His MCU shit is that the Kingpin is running for mayor because he's saying there's too much vigilantism. And so Kevin Feige says, we're going to make the Daredevil show to show more ground level superheroing, like vigilante. I want to see more ground level superheroes. We're going to see Jessica Jones. We're going to see all these other heroes. And that's what Kingpin's going to complain about to run his bid for mayor. There's too much craziness. There are assholes running around in costumes everywhere yeah. with powers. You know, and that's going to be the reason Kingpin's going to run for mayor. And they're going to show that in this show, I think. And that's why Feige's reshooting it to be different. Okay. So you have some belief that Feige is going to make something good out of this. No. He's going to come and fix stuff. I, no, of course no. not. This is still going to be ass, but I'm just trying to show, tell you <laughs> what kind of ass he's thinking. Okay. My, my, my thing. Um, okay. This look also, this looks like CW costumes. What the fuck? Everything's going to shit. Like, it's, everything is Do you think their costume looks shit. good? I'm showing you the picture of, the, of, a, of yeah. a drawing somebody made. Yeah, it's... And that it, looks good. It, does it, really, though? The drawing? I mean, yeah, the drawing looks all, all right, but uh, is that going to look good on screen? I don't know, man. Well, you're seeing it. I mean, it looks like ass, doesn't it? It does. That's what I'm saying. It looks like, um, it looks like fucking uh, something out of the CW. And that's why I hated DC to begin with. Back when I was starting to be a nerd. I I I used to want I used to fucking like read the 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 DC comic books and the Marvel ones and the Marvel ones had more imagination. Obviously, the DC ones were way more like um, I don't know, like detective kind of shit. He doesn't, and I didn't like that. Homer says he looks like a mummy, but he doesn't look like a mummy. He looks like a guy wearing some white a motorcycle fucking suit. Yeah, a white motorcycle a suit with a weird helmet on. It doesn't even look like a cool helmet. I mean, it doesn't even look cool. It, like it's like, a more. 
And it is I a bet hoodie. You he's gonna be wearing a fucking motorcycle, bro. Okay, you're he's right. Be... That is a hoodie. Yeah, bro. That's a fuck. So he, what is the Assassin's Creed now? I, I don't know. And, and and now that he's wearing a hoodie, he's definitely not riding a fucking motorcycle because the hoodie's gonna go back if he's riding the fucking motorcycle. This does look like ah. ass. But the yeah. real bad guy, because F obviously Fisk is the bad guy behind the scenes that's leading mm -hmm. up to him, you know, being the street level Thanos. Um, the real bad guy of the show is some Antifa motherfucker, Kiki. Who are you talking about? Some fucking Antifa motherfucker is the real fucking. <laughs> no, yes. Some Antifa motherfucker. His name is the Muse. He's this guy who doesn't like authority and he he spray paints an ass and he he because Fisk is running for mayor or whatever and he's gonna fucking try to fuck Fisk's campaign. But at the <laughs> he's same time, he's murdering people and, and shit like that. Oh, yeah. The like, left. <laughs> he's a yeah, he's he's on Tifa, basically. He spray paints, wow. graffitis, and he murders. And commits crimes, <laughs> uh, all to stop Fisk from getting power. And then Daredevil at the same time, even though he does, he hates Fisk. He has to actually fight. Like this guy's the crazy one. Fisk is just running for mayor. I can't get mad because he's running for mayor. He's doing it legally, even though he's a bad guy. This guy's the real bad guy because he's killing people and he's breaking the law. And that's what the real show is going to be. Okay. So we have this guy who is like a fucking painter slash fucking like graffiti artist. Murderer. Is he psychopath? I mean, like, he, is he Banksy? He's Banksy, basically, with some fucking like powers or something. Banksy. Yeah, basically. Right? Yeah, I guess you could say. Huh. No, I don't. I, I mean, I, don't, I didn't do any research. I don't know if he has powers. I think he just he's just crazy. <laughs> You know who Banksy is, right? Yeah, it's one of these European motherfuckers. What are these, you know, what are these, what is it called? The like, homosexuals or whatever? <laughs> you fucking asshole. What? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just, you know, just trying to no, find the right I'm words. Just ask, I'm just asking if you know who Banksy is. And I you're just like, told yes. you, yeah, that, that's the guy. I just okay. described well, I, it. It's one of, it's probably the same fucking premise. It's like, oh, this guy is a fucking, like, a communist Wait, fucking like anti was a murderer. Something. He would fucking murder people and then no, you idiot. I'm just saying like did this guy like fucking a psychopath? like? No, he's just a fucking guy, and they base him fucking character him to a character. It's not oh, like they took inspiration. Yeah, exactly. Right, well, you know they're not original like in Marvel. Ah, yeah. eh, whatever. Well, that's the real bad guy, Kike. Some white motherfucker. But odds are they're probably gonna make him be black. Let's make a statement. I'm Banksy. Okay, I get uh, it. He's yeah. probably gonna be black with a white shirt on and a mask, a white mask. Of course he's gonna be black. Yeah. Or Latino. Like no, a... no, no. That's too much. That's it's going too far. Probably gonna be a Latino. That's too far. It's not representing enough. <laughs> Cuban. Um, what do you think of this being the bad guy for the show? Supposedly, it's gonna be kind of lame. But if it if they write it right, it's gonna be more of a, you know, like he's a punk. Have, like, he's a hardcore. You know, he runs around with a backpack. Yeah, you have the left and you have the right. And like, if this guy fucking moves people, you know, in the right way from the left, they're gonna start rioting, Kike, setting buildings oh, on fire again. This, this is gonna be like the new Joker, you know? If, if they make it right, if, if Joker. Oh fuck yeah, bro! If they write it well. They're gonna make a really good fucking character. The Antifa if they joke. write it, dude, they can. They can actually. They can write it really fucking. They can, but I don't know if they have the fucking good writers. Kevin Feige is writing, or helping, mm. or directing, or whatever the ass mm. you want to call it. He's over there. Nah. He's mad. He said, "I'm taking over." That's what's going I on. I don't know. He fired know. everyone. He fired everyone. He I don't started. Know gonna make. We reshoots. We're starting all over. He said they need the Winter Soldier fucking writers to do this. You know how bad they need, they the need Winter all Soldier. Those, well, guys. those guys left a long time ago. They killed Tony Stark and they left. 
That's what I'm saying. Those assholes ruined everything because they killed Tony Stark and they made Captain America old. They killed him too. They left. But they need to make a good fucking fucking show, bro. Like that's what I'm saying. Like they they, they, they that's that, that's they say oh it's done. Fuck you. I'm out. That's it. It's a good fucking thing. Well, things are getting worse, Kiki, <laughs> because we got brand new rumors. Guess what? Uh-huh. Since we are talking about Captain America, an ass. Okay. Guess what? This is coming straight, supposedly. Uh-huh. From the future ruler of Earth, Doomcock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Overlord yeah. DVD, uh, Doomcock is coming out, and he's saying that his people gave him some rumors about something, <laughs> okay. something that happened at the Captain America set. Kike, the Brave New World with Anthony Mackie. Fat, overweight, out of shape. Um, okay. Yeah. That this happened on the set, Kike. Anthony Mackie threw a fit. Oh, really? He lost it. And he. I gra- thought he was no. not fit. Well, I mean, he's not fit, but he threw his <laughs> not fit out of weight ass around. He got mad. And yeah. he got a chair and he threw it at the fucking director. Oh, really? Yes. And then he yelled and told, like, yelled. Can we fucking get a script down here? This is ridiculous. How do you shoot a movie without a fucking script? You might be right. Where is the script? And uh, the director had to told him, hey, like, all we have is this notebook with notes. Really? They're still writing the script, but they wow. want us to they want us to start shooting, you know, just improvising shoot with the notes. What? With the note, improvising with the notes they gave us. And then Anthony Mackie says, This is fucking stupid and a waste of our time. We're just going to be back here doing reshoots in a. Oh, shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We're just going to be back here doing reshoots in a few months. Exactly. I I would have been the same way. I mean, mean, why am I scheduled here to be fucking doing some honky donkey fucking bullshit, bro? Do you think this is true? Could be true? Or sounds like it is true? Unless the fucking director said, like, let's get some fucking, like... The director's just following orders from what Feige's telling him. I'm still rewriting the script. Here's a notebook with notes of what the outline. Just start filming improvise and then we'll give you the I'll, script and fill in everything yeah unless they have something under their fucking sleeve and said like these are the reacts that we want and and it's gonna come out fucking great because they're gonna be so pissed i mean unless they had that like they they, they knew something they pre-planned that kind of shit i don't understand why they would do that kind of thing you know yeah 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 do you think you think this is like I said, this is Doom Cop reporting. Do you think this is real? Do you think this could be real? Do you think I mean, this it is... could it could be real that he fucking went out of his case and just said like what the fuck is going on, man? No script. He could that how low has Marvel uh, remember a lot of directors have quit and the left and oh, yeah. uh yeah. How low is it becoming? That they're filming movies without even having scripts ready. You know, they just said today that Fantastic Four is having... He just hired two new writers to rewrite the new script that they just wrote. (sighs) Yes, today, and we're not covering it. I don't have anything ready. This just happened before we started. (laughs) There's a thing that they're saying that... He's now yeah. hiring two new writers to rewrite the new script for Fantastic Four because apparently the new script needs to be rewritten. This is so fucked up in the sense that like now we know how fucking media works. Now that we have all these resources and like internet and whatnot, and we have fucking people talking it's about it. It's all this money being spent and all these gays and yeah, lesbians just... and all these non-binary mm-hmm. idiots. Well, I didn't that... say that. No, you're right, but... DK. You're absolutely right. These motherfuckers, yeah. their parents mm-hmm. paid for their college educations, but they actually mm-hmm. never learned the skills to be good at anything because they think they're privileged and entitled to just fucking get everything. <laughs> 
all the recognition without even putting in the hard work and give us a, giving us a good product in the end. The new generation that has been born into these skills is not good enough to give us the fucking... Look what they did with Jurassic Park Part 1, Kike. You're telling me they can't even replicate that nowadays, these pussies. Oh, man, the mix of both fucking, like, things, like, actual CGI and real animatronics. They can't do that nowadays. I'm so pissed off because I'm dumb as fuck. But if I would have been smart, I would have made a better... I would have been one of these guys making the special effects for all these movies. And it would have looked better in this ass. I mean, it, you would wish... Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Kike. Of course everybody wishes. <laughs> Dumbass. You got better yeah, than everybody. Anyways, we're moving no, on yeah. for this Marvel ass. Kiki's is trying to be smart already. Fuck you, Kike. You dumb ass. Right, Anyways, fine. guess I'll what? Take Kike? It. We're mm. moving away from the Marvel ass. Okay. Let's move on to some DC ass. None of James Gunn, who's by the way, his brand new Superman movie already includes Superman, Lewis Lane. Like, and by the way, these are all the actors that are playing these characters. Lex Luthor, Jimmy Olsen. Lois Lane, by the way. Anyways, whatever the fuck he said, some guy. Lois Lane. Hey, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, whatever the fuck, Lewis Lane. It's not Lewis, it's Lois. All right. I love this. Lane. <laughs> Jesus Lex Luthor. Christ. Jimmy Olsen. Some fucking bitch who's supposed to be blonde, but it's going to be a brunette now. Hot girl who's like fucking what's her name? Uh, Tia Carrero or the one that came out over there in the Door of the Explorer. Oh yeah, yeah. His best friend Nathan Fillman who came out and everything he's ever made is gonna be the Green Lantern, the gay Green Lantern. Oh, been that guy. You know, some hot chick, some foreign hot chick is gonna be some chick made out of ice or crystal or some ass. Yeah. Mister Ter Terrific is gonna be played by that skinny fucking Aborigine who looks like he's got AIDS. And fucking Metamorpho is going to be played by that fucking guy who's got alopecia and shit. And on top of all these guys who are coming out in the Superman. This is the Superman movie. Look at all these characters that are coming out in the mm -hmm. Superman movie. Introduction. Superman movie. The Superman yeah. to the new DC. Mm -hmm. And you already have all these characters. He's adding the super dog in it too. Okay. But this week came out. That two girls are when in addition, and they came out and they went over there and they, they read some lines and these are the top choices and it's coming down to the two girls to come down to be super girls. Oh, two girls, okay. Yeah, two girls to come down. I thought you said two worlds because like you mix your. I mean, it could be two different worlds from two different movies. I don't know, Kiki. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's yeah. going on. All right. These two ladies, whatever the fuck you want to identify these girls, whatever. I don't know if they're gay or lesbians or non-binary. They, they look I, like girls to I me. I didn't even fucking went there. Okay, You yeah. have to nowadays. You have to go there and acknowledge whatever the fuck they, <laughs> they are. What they want to believe they are. But you have to, to go me, there, I mean, acknowledge, and you know, shake whatever. their hands. I mean, yeah. I don't know if I want to shake their hands nowadays. They might have COVID. But anyways, these little girls are now auditioning to be Supergirl. And one of them is going to end up being Supergirl, they're saying. Millie Alcock, who was the young Rhaenyra. Okay. That's her name, Kiki. I didn't choose it. Alcock. Uh, yeah. Alcock. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. She was the young Rhaenyra's Targaryen from the fucking uh, House of Dragon, the season really? one. Yeah, so the little girl. The one that the uncle took into the porn house and was going to rape her. And oh, molest her. Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> that was crazy. But anyways, when she grows up, she ends up marrying her uncle after she kills her husband and shit. Well, everyone's And he kills now. her wife. Yeah. And they marry each other. <laughs> it's a good show, Kika. It's a damn good show. Beautiful stuff I can't that we wait didn't to learn from our past. And that's what you keep fucking forgetting about it. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, you're from what, please? Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyways. People that keep fucking each other? No, okay, yeah. Calm down, Kika. Leave these white, blue, blonde, blue eyed <laughs> people alone. There's nothing wrong with them. Well, that's Anyways. why you have that disease, okay? <laughs> yeah, I understand now. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, and Meg, Meg Donnelly, I don't know who the fuck she is, but she got some nice titties <laughs> and some nice blue eyes and shit. Um, anyways. <laughs> Both of these girls are... Is she from Scooby-Doo or something? I don't she know. She looks like she could be from Scooby-Doo. 
but both of these girls are gonna probably yeah. might end up being the fucking uh super girl <laughs> in james <laughs> gunn superman movie <laughs> This is a super crowded movie. You can look at this is why I'm telling you this there, guy's fucking up. Look at all these characters character. that he's putting in. Now, now there's gonna be Supergirl, and this is this is like Girl. a '70s fucking like the the, the fucking show for a variety show. The Superman from the 70s. and Friends, starring uh, James Avery and Donna Hugh Foley and uh, Jean Bubba Bodiba and Mary Jane <laughs> And then and you have the fucking music With going Richard on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> in the in the background. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's too Fuck much. you, James Gunn. You this movie's gonna suck, bro. This and guy's James the Dog. <laughs> Dude, this <laughs> This guy's taking it too far, bro. This guy's uh, taking it too far. This is too many or he, characters. Or he's a genius. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Either that or he's a genius. The first movie. Hang on. Let me yeah. just tell you like this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The DC casual fan, uh -huh. which is a person that doesn't know lore. No, no. He's mostly a uh, Superman a and Batman. Dangerous fucking and that's person about who's it. about to kill a person, yeah. yeah. Superman and Batman is about as far as they know. A Joker. Shit like that. If no, you show them that. James Gunn movie with all these characters and all this ass, they're going to be like, how how did the dog get superpowers? And where did Supergirl come from? <laughs> and who is this black guy with the paint on his Where's face? The blood, God damn it. And why is this guy gay? <laughs> They're not going to understand anything. They're going to be lost. James Gunn is going to make a disaster of a movie. And only nerds like you, Geek are going to be like, mm, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, you're, you're putting me in the fucking dark side of this fucking yeah, thing yeah, post. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so, man. It's, it's, it's mostly like, um, this feels like fucking Hanna-Barbera, you know, like. You remember watching Conor Barbera fucking cartoons in back in the early nineties? Like yes, fucking it was repeats? craziness. Yeah, and it that's was exactly fun what this asshole is going to end up giving people. It was mostly a fucking. Uh, the, everyone was rushing to a fucking like, you know that they, they were just fucking riding a fucking car and shit. Probably that. He's getting all his friends on here. He all his friends, his family, James Gunn. <laughs> is there? Let me put a million Even characters. The dog. In this is a Superman movie, but we're going to have 40 different characters introducing the entire DC universe. Well, I'm glad. I mean, he didn't even put his wife in there. Not That's yet. okay. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. You know she is. She's probably going to be the voice of the dog, right? No, everybody's saying she's going to be Wonder Woman. Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's hot enough. Nah. She's hot enough. She nah. could be Wonder Woman for sure. For oh. sure. Yeah, I would give it to her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. All, right, all right. We're done with this ass. We're going to move on to some real bad ass. And they finally gave us a real trailer for Avatar The Last Bender. Hey, you know what? Oh, wow. I'm stopping everything right now. Okay. I'm being super disrespectful. Extremely. And I don't ever do this. All right. You get the fuck are you? No, what? no, fuck you. How dare you? What are you doing? You should be above everything and should be on top of this kind of ass. What are you talking about? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, this is going to just go to prove everybody. This young man's racism. All right. The fuck, fuck are you talking about? Fuck you, Kike. Hey, fuck you too. Exactly. Because you're racist. Dumb son of a bitch. What? All right. Anyways, I apologize to everybody out there. But primarily, I apologize to our resident Canuck in the Phantom who showed up a while ago. And I forgot to give you your intro, so I'm about to hit it for you. Even though Kike is racist towards Can Canadians, and he doesn't want to fucking like do an intro or, or even represent. Hey, he didn't even sure mention we, you. 
or even said nothing. So Wait, here's for you, Indie Phantom. This is oh, how much we man. love you on this channel. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. That's for you, Indie Phantom. We stopped the whole show and rewinded it, even though Kike was his racisms against Canadians. He doesn't want to represent you. You dick. And we played his song before. This. When he was not here in the comments, he just showed up. Yeah. And he didn't give a fuck. Two segments went by. You didn't even recognize it. Oh, okay. Jesus. I didn't know that was a role. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. We we're not supposed to represent our gang members when they show up. Motherfucker. The gang members? Now you're fucking drew the fucking channel way down. No, no more. Oh, Jesus. here we go. Here we go. What else, Kiki? What else do you not want to deny? Uh, they just put us in the fucking account of gang members now. And? And now we're down. We're a gang, motherfucker. You wolf pack. Bitch. We're what? Yeah. Live. We beat a pussy, Kiki. All right? You dumbass. <laughs> uh, look at him. Now he's just laughing at us, Kike. Everybody, Kike, is just laughing at the woke pack. Fuck you, you dumbass. I'm going to throw it up for everybody. All Fuck right, you. Fine, yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> live. Fuck you. Just don't do this. <laughs> that's, that's fucking <laughs> Don't do this foot thing with your fucking mug. You know because what? Fuck you. Fucking... I'm throwing it again. Fuck this guy! I hope you are throwing it up. He is a pussy. I don't. I don't want to see you. Go, go like this. Oh no! Fuck you, Kike. Jesus! Pussy. All right, fine. You don't represent this channel, uh, and you don't right. represent nothing we represent here. You're not a woke packer. We're gonna kick your ass out, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. <clears throat> pussy. <laughs> all right, fine. Fuck you, Kike. Dumbass. Hey, he can't. Is, you get, you get, he can't. Get, doesn't he, represent us on going, this channel. He he's alone. God. He's a lone I, wolf by himself. He's his own clique. <laughs> apparently, a lone wolf. A lone wolf. Yeah, he doesn't represent <laughs> none of us. And and our fucking thing is wolf pack. A pack like a pack of wolf. Yeah, you dumbass. You got a problem with that? <laughs> Son of a bitch. You see. You yeah. see, this is the one wow, I have to deal right. with every day. Are you done, Kiki? I was trying to. This was supposed to be going. a celebration for Indie Phantom, and you ruined oh, it. I, I really, what's going on? He showed up. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you don't want to celebrate that he showed up. <laughs> we are celebrating. I'm really happy. I don't know about you. You're pretty mad. Well, yeah, I'm pretty mad that you weren't representing when you're supposed to be, you dick. I don't know. I'm pretty happy, man. I'm keeping the fucking party up. Does being you happy is not the same the as representing, down, bro. You idiot. I don't know. You're being, you're being mad, man. Nobody wants a mad guy here. You know, I put in the effort. Look good and shit. Oh, really? Like, <laughs> oh, now you're saying you're prettier than me? Is that what you're saying? Any day of the week, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, fine. All right, fine. I am ugly. You're calling me ugly, you fucking son of a bitch. As long as you understand where you belong, you fucking Jew. All right, <laughs> let's get going. Anyways, back to it. Hey, everybody. The Last Airbender trailer, <laughs> official trailer, finally premiered. Ooh. And it, took, it only took fucking 13 minutes to go th to get there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck you, Kike. They finally showed this trailer, Kike. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... It looks great. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. The yeah. the effects. Every character looks Here's, like the character in the fucking every, cartoon. Every character looks exactly like the cartoon. It's amazing. The here's the thing about it is the effects are not amazing, but they're no, all no, no. they don't have to. Everything is to the quality of the effects, where it's all like 
if we cannot make it look good, then everything will look fantasy. Like everything will look like it's not real. In other words, if they well, say if we can't make it look real, then we're gonna make everything else look not real. That's the only way I can explain to keep it. Keep it in the uncanny valley because the even the like the filters of the actors, it looks the same as the filters for the animation, so it blends in perfect. Because the animation is not yeah. not amazing. But it blends in perfect for you. It's a show. It's a fucking show. And if it's not that great, god damn it, just fucking go fuck yourself up. Like, it's a fucking show and they're doing the best. And then this is looks fucking great, bro. Looks it amazing. looks fucking great. Every single fucking character looks fucking amazing. And they look like the cartoon, too. Every single character, bro. And I'm yeah. glad that they kept it fucking Asian. Everyone is Asian. That's the way it's supposed to be. It there, is. Weren't, there weren't fucking white guys, bro. It, it wasn't like that. Um, so, yeah, no, it, it looks good. I, I'm fucking looking forward to watch this. Look, I have a huge prediction because... Okay. I think Netflix here in the next five years, mm -hmm. along with this WE deal, Mm -hmm. they're gonna fucking get back all the subscribers they lost in the past because they're gonna, they're about to start putting out fucking quality shit it it seems like it after one piece now they're making the we deal which is it's, it really is a big deal yeah mm -hmm. um and now this that looks it looks amazing i will say one thing though I don't know. I didn't see enough of this little. Excuse me. I didn't see enough of this little kid as Ang. Mm -hmm. And the very little I saw, did not impress me. Oh, so you're keeping yourself a little negative. There's a little, a little bit. I, a because little bit. Ang to me needs to be really animated. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, this yeah, kid yeah. looked. His facial expressions. I didn't see him there. But they didn't show enough. They didn't show enough. They didn't. They didn't. Uh, yeah. yeah. But I didn't see. The, and I wonder, are they not showing enough? Because maybe the kid is not that good. It's not that good. He just oh, looks okay. it. He just looks it. But so maybe he's you not. You don't think that, he's, he's I not don't as know. confident as that other kid, Inyaki? Inyaki had the facial expressions. And Aang needs to have yeah. facial expressions. And yeah. I think maybe this kid might not have them. I don't know. I don't know. They. This is not enough. It wasn't enough. It's. It's, it's not enough. Yeah. It, it showcased. Not enough evidence. <laughs> it showcased how good and how much they're gonna show, of, of the show. They're changing it. I can tell. Yeah. Um, they're gonna show a lot of the good stuff. A lot of the stuff that M Night Shyamala skipped that he needed to show. I know. That's why I hate uh, the fucking like other fucking directors. Yes. <laughs> They're gonna show a lot of. They're just showing the guy from the fucking air temple, and I think that's that guy from Community. He's gonna be that fucking dude. <laughs> yes, it is him. <laughs> uh, uh, it's crazy. Like they're yeah. showing. They're gonna show a lot from the cartoon, but they're also blending because his sister, the bad guy, mm -hmm. the the Fire Lord sister. Uh, what's her name? Uh, fuck, I don't remember her name. Azula. No. Azula. She's not supposed to come out at all until season two. At the end of season one, the father, t you see it like almost like an end of credit scene. Yeah. You see her and the father tells her, go find your brother and bring me the avatar. And she looks up and she says, yes, father. And that's the first time you ever knew like, oh, shit, he has a sister. That's the end of season one and season two. She comes out in yeah. this one. They're going to force her in like halfway in. Of course, it's because it's... they need to move it along. Of course. Faster. So I don't know. It's gonna be. It's going to be different. What they're showing us looks exactly like the episodes in the cartoon. A lot of it looks beautiful, but it's going to be different because they're gonna insert her halfway in there, and she's not supposed to be in there. And I don't even know if they're gonna insert the other little because she, the sister's not alone. She has two friends. It's like a a trio. She has two friends with her that are like her lackeys, and yeah. it they fight with her. And they don't, I don't see them in the trailer either. So it's going to be different. And 
And now I'm finding out because I'm reading shit interviews that the directors are saying that uh, they are changing a lot of things and that that's kind of the reason why the creators of the show left. Oh. Because they said, hey, we, they told the creators, we kind of need to condense it because Netflix, you know, like we don't know if this is going to be seven seasons or five seasons or blah, blah, blah. So we want to kind of like shorten stuff and add make it look good. Man. Yeah. I mean, like, change that's it. the one thing. Change it. Yeah. And the directors didn't like it because they want the directors wanted the they wanted to keep it exactly the same. May basically be as faithful as you can. Yeah. And so they left the project. And and the guys who who finished this, they said we almost quit because when the creators left, we were heartbroken and we said we can't fucking finish this. That's crazy. And he said, That's we fucking... almost didn't do this. And he goes, but but all the workers, they all told us we're all fans of the show. We're not going to make this into crap. Yeah. He goes, we all love this show. We all grew up watching the cartoon. All the, the animators, the people, that the writers, they all told the directors, don't quit. We all love this. Sh we all grew up in this show. We're not going to let this be ass. And he says that's why we stayed and we 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 pushed on. It looks good, man, but I'm I don't know, man. I have to see I have to see the acting, bro. That's what it's gonna come down to. The acting, bro. Yeah. Cause I mean, like, honestly, like when I first saw Luffy, I was like, what is this? Like, what the fuck is going on? And I didn't like it. And then I saw next episode and I was like, okay, I'm in it. I, I, I understand what's going on. You got to get uh, into it, you know. And um, this looks like, I mean, this is something that you either love or hate. You either know or don't. And we both know this fucking shit, dude. We want to see something, uh, uh, a, a really good fucking like show, bro. It, we haven't gone that. It looks amazing. The world looks really fantastic. It looks exactly like it. I mean, right all there, all the actors, all the actors look great. Everyone, yeah. yeah, everyone looks accordingly. We just haven't heard anything about it. We haven't seen them talk or anything. We haven't seen a whole clip or a scene to see if it's yeah. really good. But yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'll tell you one thing, man. This this is going to be a hit. Like right there, I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to just come out. I and mean, say it. This Netflix is already did something great. So now I hope so. That I hope that they're going to be some another anime. Great. This is going to be a huge hit. bro. And uh, before you know it, we're going to see like deep fakes. You know, and porn of all these kids. No, the what the yeah. fuck, bro? But that's just what happened to the one Marvel we were talking about earlier. All right. It's going to happen to these kids, right. too. Unfortunately, you and me were talking about something it's nice. Sad. It's, sad. it's sad, you know, but it happens mm -hmm. in Hollywood. Um, I'm excited for this. Uh, February, I think. Right? Yeah. Look it up real um, quick. Visit me off. I think it's in February. It's going to be, you know, obviously, I don't know. I wonder if they're going to just drop all the episodes together at once, Kike. Because that's what Netflix does, right? They don't fuck around. Yeah. I hope they don't drop it on a Friday, on the day we do the podcast, because then we don't get a review until the following. Fuck you, Netflix. You better drop it on a Sunday or no, or some ass. Or don't want a week like everyone else. Start being pussies. Shit. Let me see. What, what, what do you think? You, can, you think you should release it once a week or just drop it all together? Uh, I wish they would release it once a week, please, because if they drop it all at once, we Man, have to watch it. How many episodes is this? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's, uh, let me see. I'm trying to read on it really quick here. All right. I think he can take too damn long to research ass. Then they're not saying. All right, I think we're done. Then, fuck you, Kike. I'm gonna get just says 2024. They don't. They don't tell you when it's gonna drop off. You know what? I'm gonna fucking get a white Mormon 
Jewish fucking motherfucker. Oh, February 22. You see? You see? We would have had a white guy doing that's this. One, that's one poster, found it though. Sooner. I'm, I don't know if I believe it, though. It's February, February 22nd, 22. coming to you live. When is that? What day is that, Kika? Is that a Monday or a Tuesday? Don't fucking lie to me. Oh, I hate Jesus. when motherfuckers lie all the time and shit. Like, you motherfuckers coming around here trying to talk down like you know who I am and shit. Motherfucker. February 22nd is Thursday, yeah. So on Thursday, Kiki, Thursday night at midnight, you're going to have to stay awake it's always and watch. Always fucking Thursday. It's always before yeah. the fucking show. Before God the show. Dang it. And we're going to have to watch all nine episodes in order to review them uh, on Friday, Kiki. So you have to stay up that night and watch them. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... I think I'm going to call in sick at work. Just so I can watch them all. <laughs> no, man. It's, it's for the uh, podcast, Kike. Don't be a dumbass. We don't earn any money on this. <laughs> no, but our subscribers, Indie Phantom and Gomer Kyle, they want to hear about this. God dang it. We do it for them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're done. Dude, I'm we're done poor. With it. And we're poor and we're done with this ass. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, <laughs> Why don't you give these assholes some life advice relevant um, to what we've been talking about tonight? God damn it. Um, let's, uh, let's just make sure they will watch Underdogs and... Uh, <laughs> I have no fucking idea. Life advice, you dumbass! Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't fucking, like... Uh, I don't know. Don't brush your teeth while your dick is fucking hard. I don't know. You can do that. I've done it. No, no, you can't. No, I mean, you can, but like the fucking toothpaste oh, dropped on your dick, it's gonna get fucking like Dude. hot as fuck because of the menthol. Fuck the girl while you're doing this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. No. no. It's gonna hurt. Catch y'all next time. <laughs>